Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the day that is Friday, the day that we cook. It's Friday. We are making ourselves some coquille Saint Jacques. <laughs> You're doing so good with it. You'll I never, am. You'll never forget it now. And there's our lovely kitchen right there. The kitchen. We were talking about. It. I don't think this is going to be a very long cook. Um, there is like a broil aspect. I'm thinking maybe hour and a half with everything. So like ten thirty ish. Yeah, I don't even know if it's going to take that long, but that's fine. I mean, either way. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be the play for us tonight. But I am looking forward to this dish. It looks like it's going to be a pretty tasty I'm, one. I'm looking forward to eating it, too. Mm. Shayna will not need a snack for later. What did you have for dinner that you're so stuffed with, girl? I still might recommend a snack. I was going to say, there's going to be one other um, sub-goal unlocked for today, guys. And that is we... I went ahead... And I ordered um, the pre-made frozen version of this dish. And we could have a comparison to the store frozen variety and our homemade variety. Our delicious, fresh, homemade variety. All I got is snark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you went to Birthday Steakhouse and had a T-bone. Hell yeah. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Hell yeah. Good old T-bone is delicious. That's right. Of course, all you got is snark. That is you, Mecca. You are snarky. It is what it's. It's like the ABCs of you, dude. S snark for dinner, Mecca. You had snark for dinner. Is that like snarf from uh, what? Thundercats? Oh my god, I can't really oh remember. Oh my god, that. I can't really I, remember that. That's crazy. I don't. I, I didn't watch much Thundercats. I don't know if I would have been allowed to, but um, I'm pretty sure like my boy cousins all watched it. Yeah. Now the ABCs are me or my initials, and that was snarf. Yeah. Did I say snarf? You said you said snarf. I said snarf. It was like it's like snark, but with an F. <laughs> we're, we're all on the same page here. I used to watch it, and uh, all I can remember is uh. Thundercats ho! <laughs> exactly, Thundercats ho! What'd you call me? I called you a Thundercats ho. You called me a Thundercats ho. Oh, I just really like the show, man. So, uh, we have a good evening, Malkath. How are you? Happy Friday. Hello, Happy hello, Friday Malkath. to everybody. To everybody. Snarf, snarf, snarf. And Thunderscats, ho! Exactly. Seems like everybody's uh, out drinking tonight, man. <laughs> and that's totally fine by me. Um, okay, so I think what I want to do is just like a couple of little decorational points here. Our bullet train is running. I do want to check to see if we have this like stalemate that w that's been happening over this way. Oh, yeah, the, the big intersection. <laughs> the Henderman teeth are iconic. Oh, shit, there's a sugar cane farm over here now. You got nasty meat pie for dinner? I'm not going to say, but... Ah, fuck. God damn it. Should I make the joke? It's, it's horrible. I shouldn't say it. You have to say it now. Don't talk about your girl that way. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What's up, Clouser? How are you doing I'll there, do man? I'll do the penance. I'll do the penance. What's the penance? I'll do it. I'm sorry. God, I have a terrible mind. Two sugar Hi, cane. Hi, Clouser. <laughs> That's... I mean, was it just was it just not a good was it just not a good pie? Did it just not hit? <laughs> like I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to backtrack. <laughs> Got a nasty meat pie. Joke's on you. And, okay, okay, okay. Joke is on me. Joke is on me. That would have been really mean if you did. Whoa! What is this? That is the blingiest train in the Ow. world. Oh! <laughs> that one's spidery. Watch out. <laughs> well, we're gridlocked over here with whatever reason that is. Um, There's a gold shingled house. It's an even worse way to talk about your hand. <laughs> Thank you for making it worse, Becca, and taking the pressure off me. <laughs> so we do have a gridlock here, huh? Looks like a game of chicken. That goes from village to the cave and back. Why are we jammed? Is the question. Why are we jammed here? You're on the signal. Making it so. Wait, is this the amethyst? Wait, no, that's the coal train. 
That's the Blackstone. So this one is saying that this is red because why? Because of this. I feel like this signal right here is the problem. Could be right. But we kind of need that one there too. That gold shingled guy looks like when they uh, when they take half the manufactured houses down the highway. True. That's what that reminds me of. Now why are you stopped? I guess this is the other thing. Why are you stopped? You are stopped because of Well, it's you know, it's a it's a train it's a train log jam, so you gotta go and look at it because that's what people do. Train stopped, huh? Oh, I think we need one here. I think I see it. All right, so if we do like one more signal right here. More signals? I got it. Raj got it. I think if we do a signal right here, it'll solve the problem. Well, something's gonna happen. That okay. Moved, that moved that guy forward. Now this guy can't go any further because this train is too long. So we do actually have length train issues. Here. Okay. That's I know you said that the other day. And then we need to have. Uh, I don't know if it needs to be there, but that is the problem. There's not enough room between like like our train here. Some of the signals are just too short. That's what's causing the the jam. Oh. So right now, this guy right here is stuck on green, making this guy not be able to move, and that guy not being able to move is making this guy not be able to move, which is making that guy not be able to move. So so um, I think we need to do. This one is gonna be a return this way, right? So if we signal this one off here, that actually might solve the problem. All right, no. so now Mr. Chicken can't go. Because these trains moved up, because they could, but now there's still another train still on green. So, uh, so what's telling this one it can't go? Hmm? Which one? Oh, there it goes. No, I'm moving it. Manually. Oh, you're moving it. Okay. And then I got to right click him again. That should on jam everything, I think. I think what's happening here is we might have... Yeah, what's up, CB? How you doing? Hey, CB. We might have too many links. I was wondering that, too, how that was going to affect everything if you linked if you linked them together. I think we just need to have longer queues like this, right? So, like that and like that. Why can't you go? Where's the end of the next, the next line that it's looking for, I guess. Yeah, why isn't uh, this train moving? Oh wait, it might just be like stuck. Maybe we have to like click it. Like it should be good, right? This is not derailed. No. Hang on, what the hell's going on here? Because these are, these are both green up here. I know, it's like what's stopping this train right now from going. Right, there's exactly. A, there's a red. Why is there red? Oh, it's because of that. Oh, okay. So apparently we're playing with <laughs> well, wait. signals on uh, Friday night. I'm grabbing a... S oh, so no. So this one's going to go... It's going to be that direction, right? Like that. And that should... Yeah, that should do it. 
So I think part of the problem is like the full intersections. All right, now we can queue up there. And that's gonna move things up there. It's gonna move things okay. over there. I don't, th should these all be like full speed? I mean, they can queue up down there, I guess. It's okay that they queue up. Right. I'm just wondering where, like, you know how they wait for something to be gone from the the end of the, you know, the wait for an exit point? Where's the exit point, I guess? I guess my, I guess what we need to do here, I think this is what's causing oh, all the jam ups, is like the crossover bits in the middle here, I think are the issues. So okay. I think we need to do something like that and that, and then like that and that. And I think that should solve the problem. Because now these two have, that intersection's a green, th that side is green, this side is orange. Okay. So when trains are passing each other, I think that's what's causing the big block up. Okay. So I think during the, 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 the main bits here, we don't need to do, I don't think we need to do the link stuff, but we need to make sure that like that side and that side are both like different. Okay, that worked. That one stopped in time. Yeah, everything Barely. should stop in time. <laughs> Barely, but it stopped in time. <laughs> I'm going to put this one here, and then we're going to take this one off just to kind of clean up things there. And then uh, I'm just going to get a few of the metal girders. How much do we have here? Metal girders. Just a few girders. Like, just a few. I'm going to put some stoplights on here. Attention. Oh, here we go. Seven Someone four. wants to hear a dad joke. Uh, Ziggy, tell me a joke. Ziggy, tell me a joke. Why do people keep worn out sweatshirts? Because they're oldies, but hoodies. Wow. <laughs> Oldies, but hoodies. Nah. I've heard worse. I've heard worse as well. Not the worst one. Mm-hmm. How's chat everywhere? How's everybody doing tonight? I mean, it's new. <laughs> I mean, it's a new one. It's new. I don't think I need this top one on this because it's not a linked one. Ah, half a house is coming at me. <laughs> That's a big train. That is a big train. All right, so this one is actually that one there. And then I need to do this one over here. I think I sort of understand, but I don't know if I understand enough to like... What's up, Derpy? How you doing? Hello. I, th I don't think I could do it. I don't think I could like do it from scratch, mm. but I think I kind of understand. Okay, now this guy is stopped because uh, an exit point is blocked. Is that? Oh, wait, okay. And then and then there's this guy. Hold on, this this guy. Gets, that guy is stopped. Whoa! <laughs> Holy God! <laughs> Wait, why was that I guy? Got, why was I, that guy stopped for that guy? I got hit. That's what I was wondering. Like, is this one linked to this one? They're not linked. Right. Ah! This is a scary place to be. I'm got to buy train twice. <laughs> By the way, uh, these are active train By tracks. By the way, we're. On the, hurry, go play on the train tracks, okay? <laughs> Only I told myself to go play on the train tracks. Hermie did get hit by a house. She did. Hey, Scarlet, are you lactose intolerant? That's the only reason you got to stop drinking milk. It's not in sync with evolution. Right? You're a human. You're belly. not supposed to uh, pass. Oh, if you are, then yeah. Then, then don't. If, 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 it, if it hurts you, then don't. I come from a long line of farmers. Holy shit. These, these guys fly. Like, we will get wet on this ride if we're in the wrong place. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> we're in the splash zone. Is that the same issue that we're having over there? <laughs> it was big and gold, officer. I didn't get the plate number, but it has gold shingles all over it. I hope we can find the culprit. <laughs> yeah, well, I am, uh, I'm not going to stop drinking milk. Probably for my cold, dead hands. 
that's the one well, that solved the there's, there's why, other things why like, are these all linked is the question that's, that's this is the one thing that I'm kind of concerned like, I, I don't understand it either like I think I understand what it's supposed to do but I don't think that it's doing what it what it's well, I think the linked one means that, like, there is a way through, mm -hmm. like, some way, some shape or form. I don't know that it's going to make any difference one way or another. I think honest. that's what's I think that's what's like holding it back, though. Uh, No, I think it was this. I think it was the simple fact that that intersection down there didn't have like this. Both sides were the one intersection. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. So, like, mm -hmm. if there was a train here and a train here, those trains would just go by and stop. Right. They wouldn't go any further. So... That's a great place for you to be. Hold on a second. Let me just, uh, let me just uh, fix some things here. Uh, There's a lot there of things you can argue that humans aren't supposed to eat, right? I mean, you could argue that humans aren't supposed to eat. Like... And we're not supposed to eat other humans, but you right. know, hey. That's when the cannibalism started. Long pork, am I right? Vegans argue that um, vegans argue that we're not supposed to eat animals. Like some people don't think that we're supposed to, you know, that, you know. Solvent extracted seed oils are the best thing to, for humans to eat. There's like a, there's a lot, there's a lot of things that humans might not supposed to be eating. Yeah, but you can pry the cheese from my cold dead hands, That's Scarlet what I'm Air. <laughs> That's what By I'm the saying. way, we did get Gruyere cheese. We did we did utilize our budget this, we this did, week. We did. I mean, scallops and Gruyere cheese. Like that's that's. Yeah. By the way, I did check out the Gruyere cheese get at it. Trader Joe's, and it yes. <laughs> What'd you get? Wow, well, roadkill on the uh, wandering trader. He's <gasps> gone. What? I missed it. Damn. Somebody clip it. He's gone. Somebody clip it. That's like what we always want. I just kind of was like, why don't you just stand over here, little buddy? You know, just over here. Just over here. Oh, right, right, right there. Can we just right appreciate there. I don't know who made it, but uh, appreciate the uh, the sugar cane pixel art windmill. This is very much us. We claps think, all um, around. I think uh, Duke of Earl made it because he posted about it in Discord and said, it said pixel art is hard. It's like, yes, especially with 16 colors, you got to get creative. Mm -hmm. Well done, though. Well done. It's very much on, on brand with everything. It is on brand. I love it. It was Duke? Nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm I'm kind of like, because we've been having the train issues, there's obviously a lot of trains happening, but I think going forward, the real things that we need to do, your tracks are all jacked up. They look fine, actually. Is just make sure that A... There's two sort of scenarios that I could see being the problem. If, for whatever reason, there's a giant house that comes by and wants to like, hit you. It's like an entire house trailer. <laughs> I know. I love it. If, like, the train doesn't have enough room to stop, right? Like, or, like between the, the between the markings. Yeah. There's not enough room. That'd be one way. Wait, do we have another house over here? Is that new? I think that's a like a station. I think that's where the um I think that's where the the golden house lives on its off time. This. Oh, so. so this is just like a get on station. I got to say, I think Should this is ride? Malkus and I think he logged out, but I really kind of want to add more sales to his windmill, but that's not my windmill, so. Oh, this is so slow. <laughs> I don't think the board will work yet. But I appreciate what's happening here. Of I'm riding the, I'm riding the house, Army. I don't know about you. I'm riding the house. I want to see where the house goes. You want to ride the house? All right, I'll, We're gonna I'll ride, ride the house. house. Okay. Just gotta wait for the house if to I come can back be around. Inside, then if I'm inside it, then it can't hit me. Eh? Ah, eh. there we go. Is this a passenger train only? We'll see. Or is Malkith still here? I think Malkith uh, logged out. Logged out, but they said hi in chat though. Right. Uh, one other thing I want to kind of clean up today. Uh, I want to do. Thank you, one I really appreciate it. I'll finish loading the world one of yeah, these days. Yeah, it happens. It's modded, dude. It's just uh, it's what it is. Schmodage. You would think we would know when the house came by, you know? Well, the board's not running yet. Oh, here it is. Here you. <laughs> I saw that coming a while away. Oh, look. Very nice. Do we get champagne on this? It's like a limo. It's like a party bus. I know. That's probably why it's five wide. It's, I, I hope it doesn't kill players. It's, it's, we'll find out, though, it's, it's, won't we? Because we're on the three. I feel stared at by that blaze burner. I don't know. Yeah, it's a little, uh, that conductor is a little, yeah. uh, he's face, a little. Face the other way. A little peavy, actually. You know, he's <laughs> just like, hey, you all mind if I watch? Right? I know. This. That, oh, my God. This is creepy. Hmm. Hmm. 
Mm. To be fair, actually, I would imagine that right now are the, the servers running really great. Probably the fewest people we've had on since it started right now during the stream. It's running okay. Yeah. Now I want to see where, this, where the gold train goes. Hey, Shy Guy, it's Friday night. Cooking stream. Cooking stream, my dude. So all the cams are set up in the kitchen. Yeah, so like the face cams are that right now. We'll be cooking later. Making our scallops. All right, so we go down this way. Roller coaster train. Ah! I really. And we have also a special one. If we do hit the sub goal, we gotta get some ice breakers, guys. It's kind of been a light week, I'll be honest. But the um, the uh, we have an, another. If we hit the sub goal before we get to it, we have a comparison for the store bought one. Yep. Okay, so this takes us to the enchanting area. You know I what? I appreciate it. that. So do I. That's a nice, uh, a nice little thing. We'll stay on and go back up because I don't have anything to enchant. I don't. Well, actually, I do. Do you? All right, we get off. Yeah, let's get off. Actually, I don't, but I need to make something that does. Okay. So. <laughs> you have a crafting thing, so. Well, you remember what I said? The one thing that I don't have is a an shovel? axe. Oh, an axe. That's the one. axe was the thing. I knew it was some sort of um. I need to make myself a go uh, an axe. Choppy or diggy thing. A choppy or diggy thing. Yeah. One of these, you know. And I don't want silk touch. I want fortune on this. Your axe. You want fortune. Yes, you want fortune. Just got to double check. Never on a shovel. Dear God, you're not going back down there on a horse. Yo, what's up, QB? How you doing? Hey, hello, hello. You don't want fortune on a shovel. You don't want fortune on a shovel unless you really like flint, remember? Right. But I want silk touch. Yeah, silk touch sounds good. Do I want... Is there any reason that I would want on my axe, like, fortune? Um, maybe for harvesting things, but... Hmm, I'd put on a hoe, really. Well, I don't even own a hoe. I don't either, actually. Try to stay away from being randomly tired. It's a thing that can happen, I suppose. Do you have narcolepsy? Are you a infomercial at 3 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Do you have narcolepsy? Take our boner pills. That's the only pills I ever see advertised on TV. I don't even watch TV, so I don't know what I'm talking about. This is all like from 10 years ago. <laughs> Efficiency 9 is available now? Oh, Y'all crazy. Shit. I'm just going to go 7. That's fine. That's plenty. You're just going 7? <laughs> I'm just going 7. Fortune, Fortune on access for it giant mushrooms. Work. It doesn't work. Fortune doesn't work for giant mushrooms. I asked. It doesn't work. But I won't get mushrooms. All right, so I won't be the mushroom harvester. No, you, Nobody's the... I mean... You can't, you can't fortune mushrooms. Period. Listen, I just won't be harvesting the mushrooms. That's just what it is. <laughs> okay. No, fortune does not work on giant mushrooms. Period. But silk touch does. Sure. Oh, I probably need some stuff. Here comes, here comes my axe, my beautiful axe. Don't forget to copy. I don't need to copy. There was plenty left, right? Well. I thought it was the bar looked pretty full to me. Yeah, yeah, there's plenty. Shower me with with, it's with good, greeny goodness. It's a good thought to always copy them. I did a lot of copy uh, stuff um, yesterday. I yeah, you did. Honestly, the server feels like it's, it's it's it runs great. There's like a real there's a capacity for yeah. It's it's a modded server. Yeah, like when you get a lot of people on, it uh, it runs shittier. You know, it's just what it is. All right, you ready to ride the gold train back? Press and the pushing, the, pushing the button. Off we go. Whoa. Whoa, that was fast. That was, that was quicker than it normally is. <laughs> I had to run to you catch gotta, the elevator. got to be quick. Hold the elevator. I love blue. Shit. Dude. What? I forgot to drop my XP off. I have 24 levels on me. Is that oh, that big not, a deal? No, that's not that many. Yeah. That tank is full. Your piggies are like in that. Yeah, so are yours. Don't worry about it. Oh. You're probably going to die, right? What? So our piggies are stuck in the elevator. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm waiting for the train. That's why we have trains. No, because you need benches. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants to stand and wait for trains. Gosh. Wish I could have headbang in Minecraft. That's as close as we got. <laughs> you, have to, you have to go like third person, though. 
You still have an iron sword, dude. I know. It's yeah. like it's like Pleb. 10% durability too. <laughs> it's real bad. <laughs> Collection system time. Nice, Hi. dude. Getting that slime farm up and running. Let's go. I do like these bricks for train stations. They're just, you know. Yeah. It's called subway tile for a reason, I guess. Especially a subterranean station. Just go like to the other side. Okay, yeah. Is there like a way out? Like other way out? Oh way out. There is a there is um I thought there was like a walkway. Like a stairway up, up mm -hmm. or something. Oh yeah, there is. I'm taking the train, damn it. I know. We're wait we're gonna wait for the Here it comes! It's the uh Blaze Burner's gonna watch you party, party bus. Mm-hmm. I feel so judged. I feel like this should have stripper poles in it. A little bit, yeah. Doesn't this, it feel this, like this it? This is a party bus. Yeah. This is a party bus. I agree. This is 100% a party bus. Yeah, this is like the bachelorette party. Alice said she made a pedestrian way out. There was a pedestrian yeah, way did. out, yeah. The top looks like a, a futuristic John Deere tractor. It does need a stripper pole in the middle. I agree. I think it needs two. Like one here and one down there. Made of gold. If we can. Yeah, we probably can. We have framed we have framed posts. I would. I won't do that. Because you have to take it, like disassemble it and reassemble it. I won't do that to somebody else's train. Wet bar. You bet. It's hidden under one of these seats, Derpy. Nice. Yay. I love it. No sex on the champagne train. Ah -ha! Attention, Raj. Someone wants to hear a dad joke. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody's poisoned the water hole. Ziggy, tell me a good joke, please. Rainbow. Throughout his life, Mozart wrote symphonies in a wide range of keys. <laughs> but in death, he was more into decomposition. What? I thought we were about the tangent. <laughs> decomposition. And in life, he was more into decomposition. <laughs> well, 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 <laughs> I tell you what, um, that's uh, really something, Mordecai. Dude, no. Uh, looks like we have like two on one side and three on the other. What's up with that? What is up with that? Your yellow bed is up here, by the way. My yellow bed? Just in case you didn't know that. Well, I didn't, but now I do. Now you do. Um. Hmm. I don't know if I want to. St I don't know if I want to start a build today. I'm just gonna make the 16 color sheep shearer. Well, there's a lot of little like cleanup that needs to happen. Yeah, that's what I'm. I'm trying to think about what the best thing is to uh, to work on as far as that goes. What's up, Bullet Bill? Running pretty good. All the trains are going now. Yeah, this wasn't being connected to the main line. That part of it isn't. If you remember what I said, what I said was I'm not connecting to this main line now. But there's plans for it to connect to the main line. Uh -huh. Aha. I do like how there's still random, like, original villager houses in here, too. In the village? Yeah, a little bit. They, 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 it's kind of nice. I don't know. I, I'm kind of like I torn know. on that one. Yeah, should we, should we leave them up, you think? I think it's interesting. Are we done with the uh, iron area? I mean, that can always use a little bit of some stuff too, right? 
mean, I just I can't put any more teeth on the Enderman, so. Now you put one there, and then one there. Oh, this is why. Th oh, this is where this guy is. Okay, the sugar cane. Ah. This teeth actually scared you when you first saw them. <laughs> Boo. Scary, scary Enderman teeth. He's very scary. All right, that should be fine. He's an angry boy. Yeah, I think we need some landscaping over here. It's all just flat green. True, if that's what you want to work on. I mean, I kind of feel like this area that we just were doing needs a lot more work, personally. Yeah. Yeah, this is all really right. kind of nasty. It's nasty? Yeah. All right, I'll come back. But I mean, you can work on that if you want. I, I mean, mean, this is just like, it's fine, but it's just like flat green. Thirty-five thousand iron ingots. Good. So. There's glass over that. Oh, that's kind of nice. I like that. Okay, so that takes care of potentially the next phase of what I want to do. Am I actually doing a build today? Am I an idiot? Yes. It's only nine. It's <laughs> like an hour and a half. Got to head back off for work. Got to move the cows. All right. The clowns are having a good so, one, dude. Somebody's got to move the cows. But thanks for stopping in, clowns. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. Only if you do a red, big redstone build. Friday night redstone build? <laughs> true. It's true. That happens a lot, actually. It does end up happening a lot. Uh, For whatever reason. Yeah, what are we thinking? Are we thinking tunnel? Are you thinking tunnel here? Or like what? I don't know. Do you have something in mind? Oh, for this part? Yeah. I have zero things in mind, okay. actually. Uh, I, I do want to, like, clean this up. It just feels like... I do you know how, like, when you have, like, a Lego set and you put it in the world that's not made yet and you yeah. just, like, slap it down? Uh -huh. This feels slapped down. I can see it. And, um, yeah. I keep that top sub. Ow! Get there in the week and hit your sub goal of the day. I, uh, I hope so, too. Um, we've had a really, really light sub week, unfortunately. Um, Bullet Bill just hit me. It'll happen when you're on the tracks. <laughs> um, but I, I do hope you get it, though, too. Yeah. I hope I'm, hoping to, I'm hoping people aren't holding back so you do. That's the other thing. But have a wonderful time with your bovines. That's right. <laughs> no, I probably should save that for the next time. I could feel that there might be some complications that occur. I did connect it to the main line, which is great. All right, let's just do a couple of tower things here. No, don't talk back to the train. Don't talk back to the train. I didn't. I'm going to get hit by a train here. I can tell it. I can feel it already. I already almost got hit by like 10 trains today. Oh, this is going to happen. 100%. You want to be around when Raj gets hit by a train? <laughs> Starting. Today might be no. the day. Friendos. Compadres. <laughs> Should we shut it off while you're working on it? Nah, don't worry about it. It'll be alright. Yeah, that's like, like the first thing that's the first thing in every every like manual. Or every like maintenance manual. It's like, make sure you turn this off and unplug it while you're working on it. And everyone's like I've, I've seen a lot I've seen a lot of uh things. Uh, a lot of like What's the word I want to say? I don't know. A lot of uh, like electricians do that. Oh, yeah. They're like, nah, it's fine. Just leave it on. Like, first of all, it's probably not fine. Okay, we do. I worked as an electrician years ago. 
used to do that shit all the time, hot work. There is times where hot work is fine. But it still scares the shit out of me. Oh, That's yeah. Oh, my God. All right, fucking house needs to stop. I'm turning off that <laughs> shit. It's the one train that's too wide, and I'm going to get hit by it while I'm working. Give me your fucking schedule. Get over here. Give me it. Yeah. <laughs> well, that happened. Feel like the tingly bits, the electricians? Probably. Hope y'all are having a wonderful Friday. Uh, we appreciate y'all being here, hanging out with us. For sure. All right, you stay there. Yeah, I said to buy a house. Yep. <laughs> That is a, that is a girthy train. Right, that one is not a schedule at all right now. So we can put that one back in there. It's a bit of a girthy train. I'm it's just a, saying. It's a girthy train. Oh, no. Pulverized. Connected. The signal is wrong. It has to be wrong, right? Maybe. Yeah, if that one's connected to... Oh, yeah, this one is... One's... This is not... The signal is not on here for some reason. What? What's up with the signal? Is this just like a whole blue loop or something? I don't know. I don't know about the blue loops. It's a green it's one there. This one's wrong. Something's wrong with this signal right here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to redo this Why one. Why does that sound like a protein powder flavor? Oh, I know what it is. You know what it is? What? It wasn't, it was on, you see how there's like a curve in that way? Mm -hmm. It wasn't on the flat bit. So it's, it wasn't separating oh. it. So it has to be there. And then that should go. Perfect. I see. That's an E, I made that mistake so many times though. One, two, three, and then semaphore this way. There you go. Yeah. The train tracks in my face. That actually makes sense. That makes sense why the tr the house was getting prio going through as well. Because it wasn't it it didn't think it had to stop. It was the biggest. Might makes right. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Might makes right. In this, in this post-apocalyptic survivor train world where all trains are the only things existing, might makes right. <laughs> True. How are you guys all doing tonight? Are you guys having a good end of your week? Does anybody have some adult bevies that they're, like, planning on, uh, you know, hitting up some stuff uh, tonight? Having a little bit of a little bit of party action while we cook up some delicious Par seafood? Party action. Ow, ow. I'm dead. Raj, you run over by your own train. No, I got run over by six trains. <laughs> well, you always talked about running trains. <laughs> Did anybody clip that by chance? <laughs> hey, Lost Sniper. <laughs> What's up, Lost Sniper? How you doing, dude? It's Scarlet and Chalky Milk, so that's a pretty adult beverage. This build is going to be easy, no problem whatsoever. Just walk on the scaffolding, you're easy fine. Easy clap. Just don't dangle even slightly that way. Remember that time where I was like, I should probably do this part first? I probably should have done this part first. Uh. We're having some awful months, so yeah, adult beverage has been at the ready since very early today. Uh, sorry to hear that, but uh, cheers at the same time. Enjoy your check because you may or may not be able to get one next week. Are you working? 
You're not getting paid for it? That sounds illegal. Jesus. Hmm. We show up to stream with a random schedule of reinforcement, well, but I mean, a fucking job. But, but, we are, but we already know, like, we know we're responsible for our own income when it comes to this. Right. Hmm. I feel like as much as I do enjoy the, um... The limestone brick, I feel like it's, or, and the calcite brick, I feel like it's being used a lot, and I might want to try, like, a different kind of brick for this. Mm. Oh, it's family business. The business is bad. I see. Okay, that's a that's a different can of worms altogether, isn't it? Well, good luck. Good luck with that. I think we're doing blackstone under here. Where? Under here. Like where 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 you're at? I literally got like 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 Winston juggled by trains. Like I got hit by a train, got hit by a train, <laughs> then got hit by another train going this way. I'm thinking about the 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 place in here in between, Raj. Like the, these walls. Oh yeah yeah whatever yeah. Okay. However you want to play okay. it. We could we could do it like this entire underground area. You see, there's like sort of a stylized thing going on over here. I got train ponged. Yes, I did. <laughs> train pong. They come flying um, through here. Kind of, but also, like, since this is kind of a branch off the main, I mean, I could do with that style maybe a different color. How about that? Yeah. What do you know about that? All right. Guardian Farm, does it have a train? Does that train go? Do we know if the Guardian Farm train runs? Yeah. Does it come here? Does the Guardian Farm come here? No. Or, or who's asking you? Me. Asking for me. The Guardian Farm goes to the Guardian Farm to the storage. Just the unload? Yeah. Okay. Which is like, you know, most farms do, I'm right? Just, I'm just going to fly there. <laughs> oh, the stuff's probably in the system. Is that an epic clip? Um, I don't think there's quite enough. Like, I feel like I want to uh, kind of re-put re in what I use because I don't think there's quite enough. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, you, got, you can go over there and probably yeah, farm some. Enter from other side. Okay, thanks for the signs. I don't think Duke is here right now, but I do appreciate the signs. To do. Decorate. Elevator to killing chamber. We got laid off in December. Haven't been able to find anything since. Market over here is very, very bad. Uh, savings are due to dry out completely. Welcome to R2022, my yeah, friend. Yeah, sorry, uh, sorry to hear that. It was it was very close. I'm not going to lie. When we, when we were talking about like sub goals and stuff, we did like... We're not really out of the woods quite yet either, um, but like we've had to really dip into like a lot of reserves to like make things happen um, for the end of twenty twenty two, and we're we're in a pretty you know there's some debt that has been occurred for the the sure. mm -hmm. over the course of the last uh, last year, but because of your guys' great support, we're able to continue. Certainly, yeah. Oh God. keep on doing this but we are working extremely hard at getting a lot of different types of content towards you guys yeah we're getting yeah we're trying to get trying to diversify mm -hmm. where is the best place to stand for this is it down here but you know what really helps hitting sub goals how about an icebreaker guys we got sure. a twitch prime sub out there get us started on the night cooking streams are not cheap you know this one costs 125 dollars <laughs> true story yeah, Hank Green has cancer. Yeah. Saw that too. Best wishes to him on a speedy recovery. Indeed, indeed. The train crossing mm. is scary, I know. I know, I'm just working, you know, I'm I'm being like the, the subway worker at the moment. Is this the best place to stand for this? Boo, 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 Do you think? Boo. What? I think it's the best place to stand for the Guardian Farm. I have no idea. I haven't been over there. There's like bubbles and stuff. Yeah, I know there's bubbles and stuff. Mm -mm. Dang, you taught me when teachers didn't feel like it. Yeah. Wait, they would just play Hank Green uh, videos? Right? <laughs> Remove. 
All right. Let's see what that looks like up top here. Oh, I like this. This is great. I'm digging that. Yeah, I like that too. I'm just gonna figure out what to do on the sides, trying to get some extra prismarine. Mm-hmm. Just not sure what's. Who is Dolph Lundgren? I don't know who that is. Um, isn't that the guy who played the Russian guy in uh, Rocky Four? Am I thinking of the right guy? Yes. Wow. Nice, Hermie. Thanks. I would have never pulled that I'm, one out of a... I'm, I'm good with, like, names sometimes. Oh, I know. I don't say always, but sometimes I'm good with names. I feel like I should be spawning more guardians. I guarantee if I was swimming around this thing in the, in the ocean, they'd be spawning. Goddamn right. But, but it pushes them all up, I guess. It was also He-Man? Really? It was He-Man. Like the voice in the animated or like in a live action? I wasn't allowed to watch He-Man. I'm going to add a bonus. If we hit the sub goal before the night, I will put it myself out there. But we have very, very spicy chips. Oh, we I'll do have five. spicy chips. Well, they say they're spicy, but you know how that I'll stuff is. I'll eat five of them. We have, we have ghost pepper chips. Five Five ghost pepper chips, five minutes, no drink. I'll put myself on the line for that. See, I went up. Okay, I went up there, and now a whole bunch of them spawn. So I feel like this is. I feel like I should stand up top. Oh, look out! We're being bombed by subs. Well, bring on the pain, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I will eat one. El Brandino, thank you so much. I'll eat, I'll eat one for El Brandino. Thank you so much. <laughs> really appreciate that. Hey, really appreciate thank you so that. much, dude. Really appreciate it. Shit, Raj. You're amazing. That is, uh, that, 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 uh, that's, uh, that's, um. That'll shut us up about that. That will shut us up about so that. So we're going to be making <laughs> the, um, the store-bought Cookie Saint-Jacques to to compare to ours. Correct. And we're going to be eating spicy chips. And we're going to be eating spicy chips. Yep. Hey, Mrs. Biffle Chips. And you got yourself a sub. Enjoy those pickles. I feel like I uh, I need a fidget while I'm up here letting these things uh, die. You need a fidget? <laughs> yeah. You are kind of AFKing at a farm. So. A little bit. I just don't want to. I don't want to use all the prismarine and then not have any for anybody else. I think that. I, I, honestly, this is one thing that I've been, me and Asika have been uh, saying to other people about. Mm -hmm. Don't think that way. Use it. That's what it's there okay. for. I know, but uh, like. No, I know. Use it. If you really feel bad when we get done tonight, log back in and stand at the farm. Just stay. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, okay. it does okay. the job. You're right. I will do that. That's why we have the farms and that's why it's community based as okay. well. You're right. You're right. They're not Pocky. They're Trader Joe's. We actually went to Trader Joe's today. Yeah, Trader Joe's. Um, oh, ghost, they're ghost they're, ghost chips. Yeah, they're ghost pepper. Ghost pepper they're chips. ghost pepper uh, potato chips. So I don't actually know how spicy they're gonna be, because a lot of times the ghost pepper stuff, like quote unquote. Do you remember when like Hold I on. think it was Wendy's? I saw a, I saw a phantom, like smoke from a train under here, and it was freaking me out, dude. Dun, 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 dun. No, 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 no. <laughs> not, yes, yes, not the, yes, yes, Not yes. the shittiest music musical ever. Oh, shots fired. I'll continue to fire those shots, and I'll stand my ground on that particular one. I have many arguments against the... Uh, <laughs> many arguments against the, uh, the... Phantom of the Opera. Phantom of the Opera music. It sucks. Um... I like Trader Joe's too. Yeah, um, our our daughter's best friend of a million years works there. Mm. So when uh, Skinner Bees gets her driver's license, she's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna apply there because they make more money and it seems like a better work environment." So yeah, she always she already has extensive grocery store experience. Oh, for sure, and she'll be she'll be she's great at it too. Oh, she's so good at it. 
The Pocky Green Chili ones are more spicy than the Trader Joe's Ghost Pepper Potato Chips. I'm sure that they are. We didn't necessarily buy them for the challenge. No, there was... We're just a, adding on to... Yeah, we're just just like, oh, hey, we have these spicy chips. This will be fun. We're going to do added... We're just added value. That's just what adding we're doing. value. Adding just value adding to value. That, that sub goal. You know what I'm saying? We're demonstrating value. <laughs> added value. Allow, allow us to eat these chips so we can demonstrate our value to you. <laughs> we're demonstrating value. <laughs> the D in the dentist system. <laughs> so I'm not going to go any lower than this, Snowy, by the way. Um, I noticed that your roof was like one below this, so I think this is uh, going to be perfect. I enjoy good spice, too, though. Oh, my God. El Brandino. I, I assume that it means something, but as a as a, the mother of said child, I hope they do not pay her whatever you just said is. <laughs> 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 I don't think I want that for my daughter. No, thank you. She could just stay at the grocery store she's at then. Mm. Eat chip while dodging trains, right? Ooh, that that would be a... Now you're asking a lot here. Oh, my God. I actually really like Takis, but the color of them freaks me the fuck out. Oh, uh, the Takis? Yeah. They're like red, red. They're like, they're like unnaturally colored. They're very red. Yeah. And they have blue ones, too, which are even worse. Do you really think you're going to take that much? Look, zero hearts. You're fine. You don't need the water bucket that. That's fine. You're good. <laughs> An overabundance of caution. Yep. Yeah, hey, what's up, Mr. Crow? How you doing? Hey, hey, hey. You want, one in, you want it in your house? What is it? What is it? What's a jingle jangle? <laughs> I've got spurs that jingle jangle jingle jingle jangle. No, thank you. I played a lot in New Vegas, all right? I know you have. I know you do. Eh. Are there just regular bricks that are, like, in the tunnel? Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. Show you the bricks. All right. That's boring. There's a whole bunch of different kind of bricks. All right, that's fine, though. It's an insanely good snack they sell during Christmas. What's in it? What's in it? What's in it? Tell us. Explain. Describe. Dub Prismarine. Okay. We know we hit it, China. We know we got it. It has been there, done that. It has been stamped and and uh, signed, sealed, delivered, or something. Something like that. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Isn't Jingle Jangle like the balls of fried dough pastry covered in icing sprinkles mixed with popcorn and other things? That sounds like a very Christmassy sweet dish. Ow, ow. Mini pretzels covered with milk and dark chocolate and drizzled with white chocolate. Dark chocolate covered caramel popcorn. Dark chocolate covered broken JoJo's cookies. Oh, you had me there. Milk chocolate gems with a red candy coating and milk and dark mini peanut butter. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> I'll take the shrimp. I'm sure. weird. I, I would, know. I'm, I would also have the shrimp. I know. I'm just like, you know, it sounds good. Don't get me wrong, but it's, it seems really sweet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like really yeah, sweet. Yeah, that sounds like a that sounds like a treat. Maybe you have like a handful or two of and then I wanna know kind of like how Are these the same? I don't think they are. Why did my brain do that? It was like, you, me, same. Like when there's uh, some alien movie. Is there an alien movie that was like, you, me, same. Did they have a thing like that? I don't know. Some movie? Am I making it up? You might be. Possible. Well, but when you said that, you were like, same. same. <laughs> I was like, you, me, same. Hmm. Enemy Mine? Was that one? Enemy Mine? Was that it? That doesn't sound like anything that I remember seeing. Huh. I don't remember seeing anything with that name. Someone liked my post on Mastodon. Woo! I haven't been doing Mastodon you very much. You cheated and had five guys tonight, huh? Well, sounds like a good time. Uh, <laughs> I don't want you ladies getting any ideas. <laughs> I cheated and had five guys tonight. <laughs> well, uh... Uh... I guess if you're going to do it, you might as well go big, right? 
If you're gonna cheat, just go all out. Yeah, I guess. Oh god, enemy of mine. Oh, by the way, um, I did post the workout thing in the um, in the Discord if, if for anybody who is interested. And uh, I did do mine today. Can confirm. I did. I worked out today. I did the thingy. I find it funny that uh, I was like, Raj, you should do yoga because I feel like a lot of these stretches are helpful. And he's like, yoga's boring. What are like three of the five moves? They're yoga stretches. Yeah, but see, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's like, could you, who? I, I don't know. It's like, where, who claims the stretch? You know what I'm saying? I know. Oh, is it yoga or is it like, you know? It's literally called an Eastern squat, though. Like whoever, whatever. They called it a. The, yeah, they did call on, it. On a, the, yeah, on the on the printout, it's called an Eastern squat. An Eastern squat. Ah! You don't know Eastern squat. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I can kind of do it though. That one I'm really good at, actually. Oh yeah, I bet you are actually. You They're have... like to make it more advanced. Do this with your hands. I'm like, I can already do that. But push it out with your. Yeah. Push it back. Yeah. I can finally do that. I'm getting Yo, pretty good at that. Yo, Brown Hawk, you got one from El Brandino. Yes, you did. Nice, nice. They really did remind you of the old PBS elderly stretching program. <laughs> Are you serious? There's like a fit dude doing training on it. You were like, old people on PBS. <laughs> that's real. That's where you. That's where your mind went immediately. <laughs> No, I don't know. I, like, I've done yoga in the past. Yoga, to me, is just boring because they're always just like, all right, so now we're going to find our inner selves. And they always have, like, sometimes they have those little bells they ring. Bing. I have gonna... not, I've not yoga with the... Uh, the bells? Oh, these are different. Hold on. These are different bricks. Or, or is that just a shadow? That looks like just a shadow. Then there's... Um... No, these are, like... No, they're, I think they're different. What does the thing say? That one says Prismarine Bricks, and that one says Prismarine Bricks. I know, prismarine, but, the, prismarine. but... This, this one says Chipped, and this one's Rechiseled. Ah, that's what it is. Yep, they are different. Nar. Well, I'm using the Rechiseled one. Now we're committed. Committed. But they're just like, okay, now we're going into the downward facing dog, and then you just do like this thing. It's just like plank, and then, you know, put your head down and put your butt up. And then like... And then you like do the, you do the stretch, but it's it's the whole... Serenity, peaceful. Let's do this now. I mean, it's good for mindfulness, in, but like, I, just, I don't feel like I need to have uh, my exercises. I don't need to have like a, a, a mental component. I guess, it, I, I guess. guess, like that makes me feel like it has a purpose. Okay, well, that's and then, fine. I guess, I'm not, and I'm not I guess, like, I guess, and everybody needs that. Is all I was gonna say. All I say is they're like, all right, we're going to lay down on this mat for a while. I'm going to fall asleep. fucking sleep. I fall asleep in <laughs> like a... Shavasana, also known as fall asleep in Klasana. <laughs> I do need, yeah, I need heavy metal yoga. That's what I need. Um, talk about touching your inner self. Single ply TP at work, am I right? <laughs> Fold that shit over. <laughs> Single ply TP at work. Touching your inner self. Goddamn right. 15 ply toilet paper. I want to wipe my ass with a cloud of angels. You're 10 ply, bud. I call it a bidet, Rallius. Bidet is what you're looking for. Wash your asshole. Wash your assholes. Bro, you're 10 ply, man. Bro, you're 10 ply. I would love that compliment. That'd be great. It means you're soft. That means you're soft. Mm -hmm. It's from Letterkenny. Oh uh, yeah, that's a good one. See, I would, I'd be like, yeah, I'm like, uh, I am, uh, I feel good on your butt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I missed died. Just got run over by a train again. Yeah, well, I did. <laughs> How do you feel? Smushy. I'm gonna go on a long shot here. Oh, all right. All right, fellas, we got some purper in the system. Special episode of Letter Kenny released today. Oh yeah. What? 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 Excuse me. The Letter Kenny special. I feel slightly violated. Yes, maybe. Well, I can understand if you haven't used a bidet much and you're afraid of like it's squirting the things like where it shouldn't go. Like that. That makes sense. But I, I 
pretty sure that. At first, it's surprising, but then you learn to like it. <laughs> Probably. I hell, I use the bidet when I don't have to go now. <laughs> I just use the bidet to f feel clean. <laughs> we don't have a bidet. To full full disclosure. Yet. <laughs> I am going to check that out on... Hulu didn't tell me. It usually tells me when there's new things of, of stuff that I like. It's usually shoves things in my face. It really wants me to watch lots of things I don't normally watch. Hulu needs to get his shit together is what I'm saying. Bad recommendations? At you want to talk about your bad recommendation, Hermie? Seems like you're a little, you're a little sore about it. Well... <laughs> The fact that they, A, give me a bad recommendation, and then, and then don't show me that there's a, there's a special episode of Letterkenny today. Mm. Right? Those two things. I'm like, please, I would like to see a special episode of Letterkenny. It is so strange that the things that I, I say to you, and I'm like, you should check this show out, and you say, I don't like, I don't think I'd like that. And then I'm like, and then now all of a sudden, it's then, Hermie's show. And then 10 years later, I'm obsessed with it. Yeah. I know. And that's how and I work. And now it's like Hermie's show. I'm like, I recommended that to you. I like that show. It was good. <laughs> that happens to me with everything, too. I'm, I'm always telling people, like, you should watch this thing. And they're like, I don't, I don't think I'd like it. And then they're like, oh, have you seen this? I'm like, I told you to watch it. I think that might be a human thing. Yeah. The only one that I can't get Hermie into, I don't know why it is. She she can't she can't uh, dig the Trailer Park Boys. I tried so hard. I'm like yo the Trailer Park Boys. Anybody anybody Trailer Park Boys? Anybody? I do love that show. I know I do too. You just can't get away from the purple, can you? You have to have the purple. Well, I think it goes with the. Um, I think it goes in this color scheme. Yeah, it I does. Think for it, the I think it works with. Yeah, I think it works with the uh, blackstone. I tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, did it even matter? Like, you think it really matters, Eddie? You really think it matters, Eddie? <laughs> to the workshop. Biddle -biddle -biddle. I just find it funny that you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> just like I'm aware. You have to turn your brain off and watch the train wreck happen. I'm familiar with that. I do watch Always Sunny. Uh, yeah, you do for you do in a way to a point. But then there's like some great moments of it, you know what I mean? Just like the, yeah, it's I'm, got a whole bunch I, of good shit. I believe you that it's that it's good and funny. I just haven't like I haven't been able to like get to the point where, you know, it, it I'm like warmed up to it, you know. It's a it's a brand of humor. That's your. Sorry for being long one. Hold on, a new guy here. Thanks for having me. I've been watching oh, the many great Minecraft streamers. That play with other folk, but never in my days have they seen a picture in picture with the person you're playing with. It's Darley. Wow. We're the originals. We're Brown so Hawk. cool. We've been doing it for like ten years, and I could not. I could tell you, um, so many people will be like, "How did you do that? Like, what did you do?" And uh, but I'm glad you appreciate it. But yeah, we have both both we, camera views. We we're gnarly. We are gnarly. We normally have face cams too, but you know. Well, right now the face cams are uh, in the kitchen because we're going to be kitchen. cooking later. We are set up for kitchen streaming. I'm gonna put some faces in. I'm not sure if uh, I'm gonna champion the face cams as a positive or a negative, though. I don't know. What? It... Why? I'm kidding. I mean, if that's your thing, you like to look at people's faces and stuff. <laughs> There's a pillar, and there's a simple calcite pillar. You're not the ugliest person on Twitch, Raj. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that, that what's known as a backhanded was, compliment that or what? That's nice. <laughs> Thanks. I, I think. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Are there, is there duh calcite? Because I'm going to get some duh calcite. Does, Does it, it involve Nginx? No, and fuck that. 
by the way. What is that? Don't worry about it. It's technical stuff. Don't worry about it. It's, just, it's the way that we used to try to live stream from the GoPro. That oh. worked like for like 30 minutes and then it would fucking break all the time. Oh. You remember that shit? Yeah. I didn't know what it was called. I might have known at some point and just forgot. Why do you think I never stream? <laughs> you don't have to put on face cam. Most Gosh. people don't, to be honest. But we're not gonna, we're gonna have full body cam later. So I mean, you know, like, you know Kinda be going like that. Tinkering table. So you should probably follow, huh? I don't know. Well you have a son. Follows never well we do appreciate the follows too, yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. One hundred percent. That's the tinkering table. That's what I wanted. All right. Are we getting a little bit? Oh, we can switch views too. Watch this. Ah, I almost got hit by a train. Careful. I might live here now. Nope, I'm not. I mean, fair. I do work with Nginx on a daily basis, but the HTTP side, not the RMTP side. The RMTP side of Nginx. Correct. And uh, no, I do not do that. Right now, we're doing a. If you want to know our whole system that we have set up, we're doing dual cap cards at the moment. We recently had to upgrade because of technology. Technology, why does it work? But for a while there, we would do, um, uh, what is it called? Over the network, video capture. Why can't I, why am I blanking on this? I don't know. NDI, we would use NDI. Oh yeah. Watch this. A super interesting thing happens, right? You have been you have been unruly this week, Mecca. You know that, right? <laughs> like unfucking ruly. Are is everything okay, dude? You have been like m like super snark this week, man. Like you, you know, like I, I don't know. He did say he brought the snark. He did say it. I mean, there was some warning involved. Yes, it's true. Nothing's okay. Well, <laughs> ah, I'm filling your train tracks. Yeah, I would not be uh, walking around here all willy nilly. If you well, know that's what I mean. the only way I can walk. Oh. So, well, too bad. Shit. Well, that's not good. <laughs> because it is an NDI X24 encode network, X264 decode OBS, X264 encode network. Uh huh? I turn it on and then it makes it be a source I can play over there. Smarter people than me figured it out. So uh, yeah, that's where uh, that's where you're over my head at this point. So if you want to learn more, uh, the internet is your friend. I think. Would you like to know more? I hear they've made a Starship Troopers game. I'm not sure. It, yeah, they did actually. It's pretty cool. You know, you think about it. I like the. I kind of like the universe, the Starship Troopers universe, because there's like it's. It's kind of got that like pre World War II feel in a way, kind of like styling and like that propaganda t like type thing. But um, when it comes down to it, it's just gonna be a going to be a game where you shoot bugs, right? And fighting bugs. And fighting bugs. Alright. I feel like all trains are running now, which is a good good sign. Long as the trains run on time. I did see that. Look. In the tunnel. That is actually really interesting. The smoke from the train actually, like, is residual. It lingers. Derpy, are you literally <laughs> AFKing there? You're out of your fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> I also have yeah. a I also have a computer with made up sounding things. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah, you wanna see? This actually runs on the schedule and check this shit out. I'm gonna pop in here real quick. We'll ride it we'll do the this is the end this is the end express. 
I'll take Bane for it so you can see. And we even have like a little schedule here. This will take us all the way to uh, the end portal. I didn't realize I was in the main. Surprise, I switched it up. Surprise to me. Oh, we're both just sort of building tonight before the cooking stream. Yeah. It's all right. Check it out. Here we go. We're going into the big ender, big enderman teeth, the teethy enderman. All the way through the nether train. He's got train. teeth. Look at him teeth. And then we end up over here at the end, uh, the end portal. Derpily, but you know, that's just uh, Minecraft things. Yeah. Yeah, you'll have that. But that's right. That takes us to the end portal. And if I want to go ride back, I just hop back on the train. Did anybody watch the Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem show yet? I'm dying to see how it is. It's pretty cool though, Rallius. I gotta I have to say, it is pretty awesome. Remember the experiment we were talking about earlier, Hermie? I think it's uh absolutely a fact. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, it's also a Friday. I feel like there's a lot of confounding factors. Like, I'm not saying it doesn't affect, but I'm saying it's, there's also like historical things that we've known about. That's true. Where the other car go? Graphically gone. <laughs> but it's, it's it's there. It's there. It's just pretending like it's not. It's being clever and hiding. Just Minecraft crafty things. Just Minecraft things. Hey, Pretzel Bot's back today. Boop. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I really, I'm, I'm, the trains are freaking awesome. And let's just, can we just map flex for a minute? Let's take a look at our, our, look at this. Oh my God. If we can't do it, map flex when you're training, like what else can you do? You know? What are the bots, uh, Miranda? The pretzel bot. The one that tells you what song it is. So it was one like really loud, weird song. I was like, what is this? And I couldn't see it yesterday. All on the network. We're going for the high score deeds. We're always going for the high score. I think what's crazy is going to be like next season when everybody has everything figured out. Could be cool. Calcite slab. Don't have that. I wonder if we have any in the system. We have. And we have polished ones. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Really? What? Hmm. The calcite slab options. But I know we have frame slabs. They're create. Which means... That sounds creative. I have to use a stone cutter creative, creatively in my backpack. There we go. Got it. Good evening, Sika. How you doing, man? Hello. What the? What the? Oh, that is definitely in the village. I didn't realize how in the village that was. What? That. That's cool, though. It's pretty in the village. I don't know why I didn't know that at first. It seems strange, though. Why can't I put this up there? The hallway is off by one. Yes, it is. I did mention that at the beginning of stream. Dang. I said there's three on one side and two on the other. Huh? When I, we started the stream, I said there's three three on one side and two on the other. Should have probably mentioned that before you were doing the Again, when you were ah, doing the walls. Ah, shit. You're right. Oh, these aren't hard to do. No, no. It's just a wall. It's just a, it's just a wall. Freaking walls. Yeah. I'm going to. I'm going to. Mm -hmm. No, I did mention it, uh, but you're right. It's uh, it is off by one. One block off strikes again. Blah blah blah. Magnet. No camp tonight. No mark block. It's Cooking stream night. It's Friday. Every single Friday. Whether we need it or not. Bom 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 bom. Cause here's our cam right now. There it is. Get ready, cause we're cooking this evening. 
Should I go stare at it then? It triggers you every time you see it. I won't do that. I'm not that mean. Maybe you should get better triggers. No, I get that. Some people have that whole, like... You can see it a mile away sort of situation. And, like, it's just like you can look at it and go, it's off, 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 it's off. Friday night cooking streams is going to be amazingly delicious. And we have some bonuses, too, because we hit the sub goal today. Hey. You guys, hey. You guys better give some big thanks to, you know, like... To, to Clownser and El Brandino. For this week, absolutely. Uh-huh. Because uh, you guys get some bonuses that we are doing. A, not only are we cooking the Coquille Saint-Jacques. I forgot to put all these back. Rush has that symmetry, symmetry thing pretty bad. I do a little bit. No, I, it doesn't bother me. What uh, I, I understand. So what would bother me personally is like... Um, I have mesophonia, whatever that is, mesophonia. Um, so like people chewing really loudly, like I get uncontrollably angry with it. But I also recognize that the same thing happens for visual things where people are like get uncontrollably angry looking at something unsymmetrical and stuff like that. But I like some, I like symmetry though. I do. I'll, I'll admit it, but it doesn't like piss me off, <laughs> you know? Oh, what, you, what what it is? It's scallops, yes. It's a French dish for scallops. Coquille and Jacques. It's a French dish. Oh, the oyster-looking thing on the countertop. Oh, those are actually um, clamshells that we're going to be using for the dish. They get served in the shells. I didn't have... At the store, they didn't have the scallop shells, so we went... I got just, um, like, frozen stuff... Um, clams and I ate them and then just wash the shells out but they're gonna be an important part of the dish hey it's a very weird how you doing dude hello oh it's a happening hot stuff the tunnels have even built I think because of the two tracks that the, being said um, the frozen ones sorry go ahead at least, the, at least the ender one is no What's go that? ahead uh, the, the frozen ones are actual scallop shells but that's gonna be our compare so There's something weird here. I don't, I don't know what I want to do yet, though. I'm going to do it this space. Hmm. So it almost look like a nifty bottle openers at a quick glance. Oh, yeah, I could see that. We have no uh, dearth of nifty bottle openers. Hmm. <laughs> Sleeping in the middle of the train tracks, what could possibly go wrong? I think there's a clip of exactly what could possibly go wrong. <laughs> See the clip. I think Cheyenne has got it handy. Uh, okay. I'm thinking maybe just like a gray platform. Like what's that? What's that brick that you used in between the tracks down here? Uh, pulverized cobblestone. I have a bunch of it. If you're going to use it. Yeah, hook me up. Okay, because I I accidentally put it back in the system without converting it back, and uh, oh, that was a mistake. But Cobble. I have it. In, no, no, I have it in my inventory. Oh, I got it back out. Oh. So I just gave you too much information and then took back the information. So long story short, I've got it. You know that uh, that exit there with the sheets? Yeah, you don't the, want that uh, one. That, you don't want yeah. that one. So if you want them, come to me. I'm literally on top of you. Yeah, I can't throw them up, can I? There you go. That goes above your head, by the way, when you're ready. I don't need this much. Jesus. Oh, my God. Take it. I did. Good. And I think we're going to do that, that, and that, and then do that, that, and that. I like the connected bit of that, too. Yeah, I do, too. Big fan. Big fan. It looks like it looks like gravel under tracks. So I'm thinking that we do, like, that bit. <laughs> I'm so offended right now. I didn't think I was close enough to get... <laughs> to get flung off the tracks that violently. Oh, it's violent. I was like two, I was like two blocks away. And sudden. 
it's fine. Very violent and very sudden. Yeah, I would say. The problem with building here is that, like, literally, this is a very, very busy intersection, and, like, you're just hearing trains constantly. And it's like, is that the track that I'm on? Or is it the track that's just kind of going around? Gotta, gotta figure it out, I guess. I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of backtrack on what I was thinking about earlier, and I'm gonna take out the uh, that guy. I'm not gonna light under the tracks through here, but I will light up the tracks through other things by other means necessary. Let me go like that, like that, like, damn it. Why well, gotta be like this, huh? Huh? No, like that. I like the there anyway, dog anyway, 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 anyway. Damn it. What's up, Rams? What's that? I like this oh. face. That's a prime sub. Really cold fingers has got some 26 months. I remember months. being 26. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was it like? Was it good? When I was 26. I had some really good beer. Thank you, really cold fingers, for 26 months. Oh, thank you for using uh, Bezos Bucks as well. That's that free stuff that you can get. You can support your favorite Twitch streamers for free. You bet. On Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos is like, I got this. 26 was good. He's been conspicuously absent from uh, public eye lately, hasn't he? He's just working on his rocket ships. He's feeling, uh, he's got, he's got, he's got penis rocket ship envy. Oh. He's like, you know what? I needed, I needed something that looked more like a dick to shoot up into space. You know, as, yeah. as the, as the rich boys do. I suppose. We do, in fact, live in an age, Hermie, where uh, I could say, you know, the millionaire with the private space program, and you don't know, and it doesn't mean only one, right. and could, not even two. It could mean it could mean several. Yeah, there's like multiple people. Multiple people. I'm making fun of me. <laughs> way you said that was funny. <laughs> You're mocking me. Aren't you? Boss-looking alien. Where? <laughs> you are a toy. A child's plaything. <laughs> you are a sad, strange little man. You have my pity. I'm always struggling with this. This is the one thing I do struggle with when it comes down to uh, the trains. Are there like eight billionaires with like private space programs? <laughs> exactly. I think so. And Mad Mike Hughes. May he Aww. rest in peace. Well, he had his own space program in a way, didn't he? That's what I mean. He had his own private space program. Yeah. Go ahead, say your rank. Space cadet. That dude was like... You know, when you go to NASA and you're like, we're going to try to solve as much of the problems that we have before we do the launch, you know, make sure that it's as safe as possible for our make astronauts. Should sure we get all the astronauts back in one piece? Uh, Mad Bug Hughes was basically like, hey, uh, what are the chances of survival? They're like, eh, 50-50. Ah, good enough for me. Let's go. I'm like, that's that's a go percentage for you? He was the, uh, I don't believe in science, but I'm going to make my own steam rocket guy. <laughs> Fascinating. That's that's a that's a go condition. The fifty percent, good to go. Yep. Okay. That's what he said. That's say, what he said. I say good luck to you there, bud. I think we're gonna do this actually. Either make it to space a legend or die a legend. Either way, you're legendary. I mean, that's one way to look at it. Yeah. We are talking about him. 
We are yeah, talking yeah, about Yeah, he's a unique individual, you know? He is, he is that. He definitely uh, has his own uh, sort of way about him. I'm not sure if we want to do this here or not. This side is confusing me because the sides are different. I think we do this, actually. This is probably what we do. We go like this to that to that to that, right? And then we do this, I think. Maybe that one. Like that. And then maybe that's not, that's not, and that's that. I feel like that might be the play. That looks like it would be the right way. Oh shit. I mean, that's true. Uh, you know, you, 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 you're going to be a legend regardless of how you slice it, I guess. We're talking about him. And I guess technically, um, you could also say the same thing about uh, the Flat Earthers, huh? They, they've they gotten a lot of press, you know? Is it a press flat joke? Um, yeah, well... I mean, sometimes you just gotta you gotta pick a side, whether, you know, both sides of the Flat Earth. There's you know? there's members... <laughs> there's members all around the globe, Rush. <laughs> <laughs> Good fucking God. Let us not forget the flat earthers that did the real science experiments. And they're like, we are here for the science of it. And um, then they come up with a result and be like, hey, the result says the earth is round. And they're like, we must have done something wrong. That can't be right. Because we all believe that the earth is flat. Therefore, it must be. That's when it changes from science to belief. Okay, can you... Uh... Not? I can play some... Uh... Uh... So you want to make this like all the way out? Kind of. I'll do a border first before you do that. I'm kind of like digging on this all areas right. like over here to... Well, I can I can play some by hand, I guess. If you just do like the, the, the edge... If I have to. And then, then it should be fine. Now, I just need to figure out where do we drop. Is this this one right here? Just got told I've been on Reddit for seven years. I don't think I've, I've even been on it for seven years. Well, maybe you made an account and didn't use it for a while. Yeah, that could be true. Happy cake day. Huh? So on Reddit, that's your anniversary because you get a little cake next year. And, and uh, uh, Happy cake day. Happy cake day. Oh, you never made a Reddit account? That's creepy. Well, somebody made one in your honor. <laughs> I even after a few beers, you were just like, I got to respond to this particular comment on Reddit. <laughs> that's always a bad idea. <laughs> I think that's where most Reddit comments come from. <laughs> I, I agree. I agree. <laughs> oh, man. My bladder knows so much, but we, I'll, 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 Does I can it wait. mostly know how much pee you have in there? <laughs> and it's saying you should probably take care of this uh, sometime, somewhat is it, soon. Is that, is that, is that what your bladder knows? How full of pee it is? There was a bit on Reddit about Flat Earthers. The woman being interviewed explained you couldn't go into space because of atmospheric interference. <laughs> that is fabulous. Fucking genius. I love that. Hi, Quackenstein. What's up, Quackenstein? How you doing? I love the fact that they did this experiment where they were on uh they were on a, a at there was like a very flat uh creek bed. So it's at sea level. So you know that it's like all the same elevation because of gravity. And they were like they agreed the gravity is gravity and it's Okay. The same so we did, we we agree that gravity is gravity. All right. So what it. they decided is to to put a uh, a bunch of boards about a mile apart, right, and then shoot a laser through a hole that they've measured on these boards that are exactly like three feet or five feet above the above the the water the mm -hmm. water level. Mm -hmm. Very calm, clean day, no waves, nothing like that. It's a very it's a flat creek bed or something like that, and um, they were like, well, if the earth is flat, then the laser should go through all three points. And what they found that's was that the laser—that's that's sound logic—moved up 
on each one a little bit by exactly the 15 degrees or also known as the Earth's circumference and the, the, the curvature, the, the of, curvature the Earth, of the yeah. Earth. Mm-hmm. And they were like, huh, that's weird. That seems strange to me. And then they got a like $20,000 uh, $20, like, like uh, get the whatever the, however you measure angles or some, some surveying thing. It's like a, I don't know, it's a device. It costs a lot of freaking money. And they were like, if the Earth is round, this should be at 15 degrees exactly. And they're like, it's at 15 degrees exactly. They're like, that's really <laughs> weird. That seems yeah, really strange. strange. <laughs> that doesn't line up with all the logic of our beliefs. I'm like, no, 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 you're doing the right thing. You're doing science. I like it. You have a hypothesis. Right, right. Hypothesis. You're doing the right thing. The problem is what you do with the results you get. <laughs> you got results. That's you got real right. results. Okay, so how do we interpret these results? Please. How do we interpret these results? Well, I'm still going to believe what I want to believe. Then why do you bother? <laughs> why did we? Uh, why did I watch a whole movie about you doing this? I want to off myself because I just I can't get that two hours back. Damn. Assholes. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some crazy gyroscope, exactly. Yeah, some crazy gyroscope. They're like, yeah, for Christ's little... sake. I can't be right. Did that's what I did on the side. They've broken our lasers, exactly. Yeah, some, oh, my God. Some crazy gyroscope. Oh. Do we like this as grass? That's where my other side was. Like, like this. I definitely don't want the tunnel hanging out. We can discuss if we want it. We can, yeah. we can discuss it if we want to do something besides grass. Uh-huh. But, like, I definitely don't want the tunnel hanging out. Yeah. I Yo, what up, Ape? How you doing? Hey, Ape. I just don't want the... I just don't want the... The you know the purple just flapping about and no the, no no I totally get, I got you on that like um and I'm in I'm in hundred percent agreement on on that bit I just had sold on like the grass I I understand that too well I mean, it's it's fine maybe if there was something there but but I don't want to do like any super build because I kind of want to be like yo Enderman yeah, stuff yeah. happen I'm with you you know New York City I knew there was a reason I came down here Try you that. remember that reason Harvey yep. Okay. There was a uh, there was a, a random slab that got misplaced. I had to take care of. That is wonderful that you remembered the reason. It's not a given. The space lord lizards have broken our lasers. Oh, I wish I, I wish we could joke about this stuff and it'd be like, ha ha! It would be really funny if somebody believed that. That's great. Uh, no, but they do. I know. Nah, but they will be trying to believe that. Aw. Really Cold Finger says, I really love the idea of the server and all of you on screen and behind the scenes working together for a common goal. It's a lot of fun to watch. Thank you very much for the positive words. I agree. This was one of the best ideas that's uh, that's come out of the this brain in a while. And I meant Raj's brain because he thought of it. That's a, it was a it was a joint effort. Me and Nisika were doing it. Oh, you guys you guys thought of it together. Yeah. Well, then both of you, your brains worked out some of the some of the kinks, as it were. Your brains, your brains put this together. Well, I appreciate it. I think I, I agree. I think this has been an excellent idea. And I, I gotta say though, it is hundred percent super super fun to. This is one of the most fun servers I played on in a very long time. So like, absolute hype. And I'm glad you're enjoying it. I guess is the other side of it too. We're glad it's fun to watch, and we're having a lot of fun playing. And everybody has been a joy to to uh, collaborate with on the server as well. Oh, yeah. It's a good group. Y'all keepers. Poking in, <laughs> popping in to say hi. Hey, great to see you, man. You will miss the cookie Saint-Jean, but oh, no. And the spicy chips. Which I put out there for money. And that money has been... Reaped? Um, reaped? No, the money has been provided? Reaped. Reaped. Instructions unclear. Kinky Kelly's on the loose. Oh no! <laughs> uh, stop like you're that. To... <laughs> Why'd you do that? <laughs> like you're supposed to keep that particular ass tied up. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have a seven on the corner there. Ah, ah, ah. Well, this tunnel looks a lot more like something now. One. Two, three. One, two, three, Attention, four, Raj. Five. Someone wants to hear a dad joke. Hmm. That makes one of us. 
Ziggy, tell me a good joke. Why didn't the virtual date go well? It was a bad connection. God. That's really rough, dude. That's, that's... That's not even trying. I know. It's just, uh... I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I know. <laughs> Actually laughed. Oh, no. Did you? Oh, no. It's, it's taking hold, Shyanda. We'll, we can blame your food coma for now. For the now, anyway. But if oh, it... wow. <laughs> that's really something. That's kind of right? where I was at with that. I know. Save. Like, the... Oh, that's really bad. That's really bad. That's really unfortunate. Why did you say that? <laughs> Kick W. <laughs> I want to make sure that I got this. this is one, two, three, four. It's like four out. <laughs> I saw this one video on TikTok and it said, Wendy's famous Hergus Burgess instead of hamburgers. And I just can't stop laughing about it. Wendy's famous Hergus Burgers? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wendy's... <laughs> We had to drive by a Wendy's to get to Trader Joe's and I would tell the kids, I'm like, oh, we're going to stop for Hergus Burgers. And they're like, what? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's it. Did I do it? Chat, did I do it? I think that's right. Remind me of the stupid Parks and Recreation Connections problem joke. Was that the one? That's like the one quote I know from that show when um, when he he like typed it in. He's like, I don't know. It's, I, I, I think you're diagnosed with connect. He's like, I'm going to type your symptoms in. I, he's like, it looks like you have connection problem, or it looks like you have like, yeah, it was it was something like that. Yes, <laughs> it looks like you have internet connectivity issues. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good night, Abe. Apparently, that was an improv line too. He's got some bangers. More power to him. He does have some bangers. But then he also has some weird stuff that, like, I'm surprised I didn't get more in trouble with. Like, you know the, you know the one, the one time where she answers the door and he's just completely naked. I heard that about was it. I never saw it. Not scripted. Like he was just like he he asked like the the boom operator or some shit. He's like, should I go naked? <laughs> oh my god! The and the dude was like, was like, yes. <laughs> he's like, either way, I'm gonna see some shit. He's like, yes, you gonna should. Go down. <laughs> and I'm like. <laughs> that's what it's network connectivity problems that's <laughs> that's good it has to be phrased correctly that's that was good phrasing that's says you have network connectivity problems that's funny oh my god I take a, let's take a quick little gander here and i think uh, i think we probably swap over here a giggity giggity gander that's looking like a little bit of something a lot better let's take a look at the thing underneath here yeah look at me look tunnel. At the tunnel look at me tunnel Look at me tunnel. Look at me tunnel. Looks great. That sounds dirty. I try to keep the same like style as the other tunnels, just like different colors. So it's similar, but different. And I made like little calcite men on the side because they're funny. Calcite men. Little calcite men. I feel like we need a border on, if we do a border on the top of the green part on the, you know, something uh, border wise, mm -hmm. it could work. But it's just starting to come together into, into something that looks uh, something fancy. But before we log off, I'm gonna restart the train because I, I don't wanna I don't oh, yeah, leave yeah. things. You have to keep the got to keep the guys. Everybody, be aware the half a house will be moving. Half a house will be moving. It's, it's going back online. The writers were pissed because they didn't think of it. Now they're on strike. They Fuck. Get all oh, do you want me to? You want me to not do that? I cannot do it. I'll just here. I'll put it no, in here. If, if you're still working, Derpy, just like that's fine. I, I'm gonna. I'll put the schedule. I'll put the schedule right there. And um. Well, maybe we'll make a note in Discord so Malkith knows why. Because your train is too big and it keeps hitting us while we're doing <laughs> maintenance. Your, your train keeps goosing our behinds while mm. we're doing maintenance. Listen, your train killed us several times. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a little bit left. No, I'll leave it there. If you want to restart it, Derpy, all you got to do is you see the schedule. I think you just saw yeah. it on stream. The schedule is just in a in a in a in a frame right in front of it. So that works. But I think that is time, friends, that we are going to be uh, swapping over to the cooking stream tonight. 
<laughs> We're gonna be crossing over. No, don't say that. That's like all like Jesusy stuff. No, right? no, it's 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 undead. It's undead. It's like talking to the beyond. Oh, Ooh. talking to the beyond. I was crossing over with like some psychic medium guy. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Have a good evening. I gotta go in. Oh, damn it. Uh, You're gonna miss the good foods. Uh, quick reminder, though, guys, we are switching over to the cooking stream, which means that if you don't have a snack, go ahead and grab yourself one now. Should you probably will get, a snack. get hungry on this stream. That's true. You will get hungry. You will get wet on this ride. Exactly. Guys, we'll be back with you in a few short moments when we get the uh, everything set up, and we'll see you over in our kitchen. That's right. Be right back.
All right, everybody, we are back. Hello, we're back. Should be able to hear us. All things good. Right. Oh, okay, we showed up on TikTok. Let me, uh, I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna open the TikTok on my phone. It only take about four hours. It does take a little bit of time. It takes a little bit of time for my phone to catch up a little bit. Oh, look, there it is. And welcome to our kitchen. Hello. I'm just going to scoot some things around over here. Or tonight, we are cooking. Cookie, Shane Jacques. And we'll be fashioning a bra out of these. Is that what we're doing today? Oh, boy. A whole new. Or for our ingredients story. tonight, we have tarragon. <laughs> Headphones. Prop comedy. <laughs> we have cheese. Boar's head. We have some white mushrooms. Shrooms. We have some a one singular lemon. I'll take the bag, or I'll take the lemon. I don't care. But and the strangest package of shallots. <laughs> shallot. It's a scallop and a shallot. And of course, because we got all the upgrades today, we have ourselves sea scallops. Scallops. Blinders. And um, I think, let me, I need to get the recipe glasses that you can't see anything like blindfold like a sleep mask you can do it so many things with these <laughs> i'm being creative this is my my creativity that playing with seashells yeah i'm playing with seashells that's what we're doing today mm. white wine it's in the fridge it's chilled we can leave it in for now Unless we need it right now. I'm just bringing out the ingredients so we I'm have all the stuff. We're just gonna have a gloss of it with our, with our, uh, with our dish. A little barefoot. Barefoot Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. And it's not a very, um, it's not a very sweet white wine. So we went with a little drier one because I think it'll have a better flavor with the seafood. Unsalted butter. Unsalted butter is on the bottom. I moved it away from the regular butter so we don't accidentally use it. Second shelf. I moved it somewhere. Where did I put it? Freezer? No, I put the whole box in the freezer. Hold on. Let me get in there. I know. I, I remember seeing it. Let me get in there. I found it. Okay. I put it somewhere special so I wouldn't lose it. <laughs> Heavy whipping cream. We need that too. Here. I can eat that at you. Coming natural. Where did I put the butter? I put it in a special place so I wouldn't lose it. Of course. Egg yolk. I think I got chicken. I did get chicken. It was on oh, major okay. sale. Awesome. Cayenne paprika. What do you say? We need an egg. One egg. One egg. Ah, ah, ah. Nobody wanted my smoked paprika? Oh, I love it when I, uh... Is that my smoked paprika? Put somewhere special that I can't find it. Later. Where's the butter, Hermie? That is not. Where's the butter? You moved it so you, we wouldn't use it. I did move it so we wouldn't use it. It worked. <laughs> I moved it so we would never find it again. Uh, here's the. Am here's I out of my smoked paprika? One egg. Hold on, I'll look for that next. Um. But well, I hope you guys are doing well, and thank you for uh, again the support. Absolutely. As put we, it in a special place so she wouldn't lose it. Yeah, I put it in the butter. Yeah. I put it in the butter in a special place so we didn't accidentally use it. It worked, and uh, now I can't find it. The butter is missing. But because you guys have unlocked the stuff as well, uh, don't stand up. Okay. I went ahead and grabbed. Now the only thing that I'm a little bit, perhaps a little bit upset is. Not a little bit upset. What are you just upset? presentation wise. Oh. Um, we are gonna be using clamshells because that's the only thing that we could we could get and purchase. And these are the pre-frozen full dish, and we'll do be doing a comparison. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, these look sad. 
They look pretty sad. There All right, go. we'll have to get the last thing of unsalted butter out of the freezer because I can't find it. But they do have the actual shallot shells. Yeah, the scallop shells, yeah. The scallop shells. Scallop shells. Shallot, shallot, shallot and scallops. Shells. I know, it's hard. Oh, it's going to be a tough one. But we're going to be uh, doing a comparison to ours versus these guys. Where is the unsalted butter? Is this right here? Yeah, that's the one. I just I know there's a stick of it floating around in the fridge. Maybe I'll clean the fridge this weekend. Mm, what are the odds? What are the odds? I should just grab that low. And put it back in. Freezer? It's going to be low. Yeah, got freezer. it. I think oh. we only need like 25 minutes for that, so. We could preheat the oven anyway, though. What's uh, what's the temp? Uh, bake from frozen, 375. Uh, it says 22 to 24 minutes. I don't think it'll take that long. Oh. Okay. 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 So, I think we have all of our. I stuff. think we have all of the ingredients out. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just do. Uh, I don't have cayenne in my paprika. I think those are both over here, if I remember. Want me to, want me to dig? Some cayenne. Just put that on the list. Cayenne. Cayenne pepper. Got to make it spicy. Paprika's here, but I don't know if I have the smoked one. If we're out of my smoked paprika or not. I'll have to put that on my list. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, here it is. Oh, good. We do have some. I thought we had some in there. Good. So this stuff here, I um, I just take a jar of this and I'll cold smoke the paprika over hickory wood. Yeah, we get like huge. The These, these big old things come from like Costco or they probably have them at like BJ's or Sam's Club too. And it's so much better than the stuff they just add liquid smoke to. So much better. Next tier. Next freaking tier. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna start working on the choppy bits and we'll get everything. Uh... The choppy bits. Shallots, mushrooms, and tarragon, right? Half a cup. So, at the end we wanna have this much shallots. So what do you think, One, the big one? I think one? the big one. Half a pound of mushrooms, eight ounces. Yep, yeah, perfect. All the mushrooms. Salt and freshly ground pepper to taste. Let's not forget that as well. The salt and pepper? Yeah. Um, Do you want the big cast iron? Not the big cast iron, but like the 12 inch cast iron? I don't want to do cast iron on this. Really? I really don't know. I use cast iron forever. I know, but this particular one we're going to be deglazing with wine, and that's going to get all the rest of the flavors in here, and I don't think we want to do that. Fair enough. So we'll use the... Uh, yeah, just a skillet. 10 inch stainless. This guy. Uh, one of our daily drivers. One of our daily drivers is right. It's, uh, I, I think I probably wash this pan four times a week, at least. Probably. Okay, so uh, what I need to do is chop up the mushrooms, the shallots, the tarragon, and we need to do just a, a teaspoon of lemon zest. I can zest the lemon while you're... Lemon? I need that, you know. Zesty bit. This guy. We be zesting. No pith. Just zest. No pith. No pith, Raj, no pith. No what? No pith. It's the white stuff under the peel. It's bitter. Oh, no pith. No pith. It sounds like you're saying something wrong. It does. It's possible. <laughs> I thought the peppers get smoked first, then dried and ground. Um, the ones that you buy at the store, they can be that way, but um, most of them are just paprika that they add liquid smoke to, which is IMO unfortunate. Very unfortunate. All right. Give the hands a wash. Ah. Oh, that's a good idea. I should have done that too. You wash a lemon? I will do that too. It does sit out naked in the grocery store. Naked? Naked. He's naked. Naked lemon. You really hate those things open, don't you? It, it, we don't have that much room to begin with. It takes away extra room in the kitchen. Ah! Excuse me? Sorry. It's my shoe day. My shoe day? My shoe day! 
my shoe. All right, I need the uh, knife out of the dishwasher. Okay. This is like the strangest thing, isn't it? Like that they come in there's like their little like netted purple bag. Purple bag. A little purple bag. I'll trade you this for a dish towel. You guys are on the big TV. My dog isn't even hungry at the end of the stream. I'll consider it a failure. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. There you go. You give me a dish towel. So I can wipe my hands. Drop my hands. Thank you. How much zest? Does it specify or is it just like some? I think it's like a teaspoon. Okay. It does specify though. Hold on. Teaspoon. Okay. Well, I'll do my best for a teaspoon of zest. <laughs> You'll do your best for a teaspoon of zest. That's right. If we get a teaspoon of zest, we will be blessed. Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> I realize what I've done. You can't tell the difference between shallot. It's very, uh, it's more fragrant. Shallots are really pungent. Yeah. There's definitely a more fragrance it, to the shallot. I think when you cook them, though, like the flavors. There's some chemistry that goes on. Yeah. They're a little bit different. I think in most in most cases you can substitute onion, though. Yeah, I would agree with that. We have one extra shallot out of this, by the way. Cool. Maybe I'll make fried rice. I'm planning on doing another Thai shrimp, so. Just one shrimp? Just one. It's mine. <laughs> I'm cooking this one shrimp. This is going to be mine. Man, zesting lemon smells so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is definitely way more, like I could already tell like the fragrance of the shallot, way, 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 way more. Shallot. Mm -hmm. I wonder why people use onions rather than shallots. Like why are onions way more prevalent? Mm, I'm not sure. Maybe they're more cost effective to grow. Maybe. How'd we do chat? We're getting better? Oh, wow, I'm impressed. Your dicing skills. Not bad, huh? Nice dice. Almost. I got a couple of pieces. Yeah, well. Working on our kitchen techniques, you know? Not bad. As we do, as we do. Well, we do it every single week, you know, eventually you're going to get good at it, right? <laughs> In theory. I mean, I could tell immediately when I cut into the shallot, though, that the, the aroma is way more fragrant. Mm -hmm. It's just way more fragrant. See the lemon, maybe we can make some iced tea this weekend. You still find it crazy how huge the shallots we get are? Really? Really? Like, you are they normally like this big? Yeah, was that was that a really big shallot? I don't know shallot sizes. Is that a normal shallot size for you? It's about I don't know. Maybe that's three why inches. Maybe that's why people use onions more because just because they're get, bigger. Yeah, you get more out of it. How's your zest? No, it going? smells like shallots and lemon in here. I think it went pretty well. Is there holes in the bottom of this thing? No. no. You need a washer on here. these. If you, can you grab me the, the colander thing from underneath? You want to do this, use the colander? That usually makes it easier to wash the mushrooms, yeah. Oh, I was using, okay. That's, I can use the that. The strainer? Too. We need yeah. the strainer for the cook. Yeah, we can wash it off. But either way, this will work. All right, while you're working on that, I'm going to head up this, the tarragon leaves. Fresh tarragon we got. Tarragon. Tarragon is a really interesting flavor. It is. 
How much was this? Paragon was... I think when we watched the video, there was like... A bunch was like tiny minced two, and then he put... Two teaspoons. Okay. And then he had, had like some leaves on top for... Presentation. Yeah. say the shrooms have been washed. Cool. One of the things that we are lucky enough in Pennsylvania to have wonderful amounts of, it's uh... Fresh local mushrooms! Fresh local mushrooms. Which just means our state is full of poop. <laughs> you would know it as soon as you drive through it. <laughs> you sure will. What's that smell? Oh, it's just, uh, it's just Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania in the spring. They just threw down all the poop. You don't like tarragon? It it's is a good a, seafood flavor. It is. It's it's very specific. It does not go with a lot of things. Honestly, we don't use it very often. Mm -mm. You're just eating lemon zest? I just tried it. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I didn't get the pith and it wasn't too bitter. I think I did all right. Flavors as intended. Shrooms. We have to use all of them so we can't eat any. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> I think our shrooms are much bigger than most people's shrooms that they get. Okay. We have okay. sizable shrooms. They're by weight, though. They are by weight. Half a pound of shrooms. Half a pound of shrooms, everybody. But you don't want to hurt me. We're gonna, we're gonna anyway. I'm gonna try the shrimp. All right. Thank you. I love mushrooms. Mm -hmm. They're delicious. You gotta have a little bit wire. You gotta make, you gotta make sure that the ingredients are good. Mm -hmm. They do it on, um, they do it on like MasterChef and stuff all the time. I see it. I know. I know what's up. That would say like what taste or something, right? Yeah. I've gotta taste it. So for those who don't know this dish, um, it, it's a fancy name, Coquille Saint-Jacques. However, he's a patron saint of something, snacks or something, I don't know. <laughs> Do you think, I don't know if like, they make saints of food. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I feel like, I feel like that guy, we watched a video of how to make it and I feel like that guy just made up a bunch of stuff about Saint-Jacques. Yeah. I don't know. Probably he's probably something. Maybe somebody in chat knows. Never trust a skinny chef. Yay! What's up, Blake J? How you doing, dude? We're making sloppy joes just for you, Blake J. I would say this is the largest mushroom that most people would normally get. Really? That's what you guys get. Yep. These things that we get in Pennsylvania are not what not what gets shipped to the to the masses all the time. They get the for export only mushrooms. That's right. We get the we get the good stuff here. Anise is like licorice, yes. Anise. Anise? Anise is like licorice. <laughs> Why are we talking about anise? Anise. It's not in this dish though. So this is a dish that's basically, it's um, this is like as French as shit, to be honest. This is like super French. Is tarragon an anise flavor? <laughs> like, it tastes like- Wait, no way, hold on. I'll try it. Here we go, this I, is just that, fresh tarragon. It doesn't remind me What? Do we lick it off the knife? We we'll just grab a piece of it. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, it is. It does have well, a. No, I but don't it's, hate it's, it. It's uh, it's not as. It's not as anus -y as, <laughs> as like fennel, for example. Right. Or like anise itself. Right. Um. It's like a fresher version. It's to me. The other yeah, one feels like. I I don't denser. like. I don't like fennel seeds very much at all it's um you know what it tastes like it does have a like... it has like a freshness flavor to mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. it's almost like it's um it's almost like it almost has 
like a lemony finish. Mm -hmm. I, I, I could see it working perfectly with seafood, though. Well, let's hope so, because we're going to put it in there with it. Yes, we are. As according to this recipe. All right. Well, there we have it. Thank you. All right. Is that all my chopping? I don't think I ever had fresh tarragon. The stuff I had did not taste like that. that that's actually much better. I agree. All right. So we got our tarragon. Here's our lemon zest. You, uh, for... Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. I used a big bowl because, you know. Okay. Let's take a look at the rest of our recipes here. So, I think it's time to move to the stove because I think that's the rest of the things. Do you want to put the frozen... Yes, we're going to do a comparison ones in now. All right. If you could grab me a baking sheet. Since these are on a shell, we probably don't need a liner. Unless we just want to throw some foil down. Yeah, I'm just going to put foil down. All right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna crumple up some aluminum foil and we'll get over to the stove here in just a second. Let me do the, um, just so they don't move around Yeah. on the thing. Sorry, You're... we're gonna move some cameras. I think we're gonna be basically on. Um... Stove for the rest of the time. Yep, I don't think there's any, there's much that's not on the stove. So I, think we're it's, gonna... I think our prep is mostly done, yeah. Yep. So there's the prep bit. All right, so here's our pre-made Coquille Saint-Jacques for comparison. The shells are nice and pretty. At least we'll have those for like our next. We may do this again. Let's take a one before you Who put knows? them in. This oh, is the store way. brand. This is our comparison point. Our store bought. Store bought frozen pre-made of this dish. These shells are very nice though. The shells are, well, they're, they're scallop shells. Yeah, That's I like exactly them. exactly what they are. I'm saying that they're just very nice. They're nice little presentation things to put them in. So we'll do a little comparison of those two things. Okay, into a 375 for I'm gonna put it to 23 on the timer because it says 22 to 24, so we'll just pop it right in the middle. Perfect. All right, so now we cook. I will have a request. You normally do the whisking bit, yep. and you are an expert. I request oh. that I would like to do it. Okay. Just because um, I haven't done that part okay. of the. This is this is a gonna be a whisking challenge. I know that, but I want I need I want to work Absolutely. on that skill. Absolutely. Okay, so what do we got? Directions. Melt the butter in a large skillet over medium heat, add shallots, and saute until translucent about five to eight minutes. How much butter? Like two, two tablespoons. Two tablespoons, that sounds about right. Okay. Here we go. On we go. Yep, we got sea scallops and we hit the goal today. So our thing about the goal today was um, we're, we got some at the store that we're going to make for comparison. And we're also going to, we got some ghost pepper potato chips we're going to try, so. I'm oh. going to be doing five chips, no milk, five minutes. Because you guys hit the goal today. And I'll eat one. I, I'm not promising any burn time or anything. You can crack open that wine yet? <laughs> you can crack open the wine. I only need a cup of it to deglaze this stuff. I know. I won't be in trouble on Twitch. Well, I won't, mostly won't be on Twitch, right? Hey, Blake J. I did make it to chip number five. I'm not promising anything like that. And then what do we do after this? Mushrooms are next. Yeah, after that. Increase the medium heat, stirring often until mushrooms are golden brown about 10 minutes. Then you strain it into a bowl and Pour reduce... wine into the pan, bringing it to a boil and scraping the bottom brown bits so, so we deglaze it. Yeah. Then, you, right. then you deglaze and then, and then we um, strain it, right? Yes. Let me strain it. Well, no, no. We got to cook the shallots in it first, too. Or the scallops. Sorry. That's right. That's right. That's right. We'll stick to the, we'll stick to the recipe. I'll just like... I'll just do a little, I'll just measure this wine over here. All right, first of all, let's just talk about something real quick. I'm gonna measure some wine off, off camera there. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, here, I'll just pop it over here. I'm gonna measure some wine off camera. <laughs> let's just talk about the fact that we're gonna be melt, uh, doing medium high heat of onions and butter. 
Um, if you don't like this smell, something wrong with you. <laughs> that is great. There's probably people who might be allergic to like alliums that might have a problem. So, unless you're allergic, if you don't like that 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 smell, yeah. But my goodness, I this really... is that this is that smell that I don't care what you're cooking. If this smells coming out, I want some. Yeah, I know, right? You know, you know what this smells to me. This smells the equivalent when you guys are all like, oh, decadent chocolate, dug of all the stuff and the ice cream and all. I'm like, this is what I like. I'm you, like, you this, like is, the, this is like my the... this is my cake. Yeah. <laughs> this is my cake, baby. I need like the savory for sure. Mm-hmm. <coughs> oh yeah, frying onions and bell peppers. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh hell yeah. Oh man, yeah. now I'm oh, an omelet. I'm looking for breakfast tomorrow. Dude, we're having like freaking sea scallops, man. I know. I'm already planning ahead for breakfast tomorrow. I guarantee you there won't be any left over. What, of this stuff? Yeah. I can probably guarantee you that. Well, we have we are cooking four for comparison. <coughs> it's true. I think Mini Raj might want in on this. If he's still awake. Sometimes he's a little tired at the end of the week. Well, we'll see. I don't know if he hears you, there's seafood, he might uh, make it a point to be awake. Sometimes. Allergy counts as something wrong with you, Phil. I mean... <laughs> All right, Uncle Roger. <laughs> What's a wrong... A peel of allergy. <laughs> You're so weak. You're so weak. Seafood, right. eat it. Shrooms are going in. Shrooms in. Don't burn the butter. Try not to burn the butter. There's a little bit of brownage, but that's butter, so. Yeah. I've... Might turn that pan down just a little bit. It literally says to turn the pan up. Okay. But I'm not. <laughs> but I'm not. Just gotta release all the moisture and then we're gonna deglaze a little bit. Mm -hmm. Remember that time I cooked the mushrooms and they're all squeaky because I put them in dry? Mm hmm. <laughs> These aren't the oh. squeakiest of mushrooms. Yeah, because you got butter in there. Uh, salt and pepper. Ah, thank you, thank you. We don't want to miss that. Nope. I'll Here. continue with this. You, you be the instructor. All right. Probably enough. Salt, ink. I feel like we have gone and got rid of all the butter quite some time ago. Mushrooms will do that. But they're like stirring constantly, so I'm stirring constantly. Yeah. And hi everybody over on Can TikTok. I, squeak in? I hope you guys are doing great over there on the tickety talkities. I've been monitoring the chat. Everybody's watching on TikTok, not chatting too much, so we're good. All good. Well, enjoy the content, guys. All right, I'm gonna. You lost one, eh? Huh? A mushroom? Yeah. Geronimo! All right, I'll measure you out the wine so you have that ready to go whenever. And then the scallops go in after that, right? Yes. An escapee, I know. <laughs> yeah, now we're starting to get there. Mm. I wish you guys could smell this. I know we say that every week, don't we? This is a really good smell, though. We have told you to get a snack. <laughs> get you a snack. You have been warned. You have been warned. You have been warned. I. 
uh, probably a year ago, I got these these snacks at Costco that were just like crispy fried mushrooms. So it was like it was like you would eat like chips or Cheetos or cheese balls or whatever, but they were actual mushrooms. I loved them. I thought they were so good. Mini Raj goes, they taste like if burnt was a snack. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think he liked them very much, but I loved them. I thought they were very good. All right, we are releasing some of those juices. I think we just got a couple of larger ones or sort of a bit. And so what is our next steps here? Okay, the next step is going to be adding the wine and bring to a boil while scraping the brown bits of food off the bottom of the pan. This says with a wooden spoon, but I believe that that'll, that, that spatula will probably work. Yeah. I've had this, are they good, Ella? I love them. All right. Plus like you're like, I'm eating vegetables. Right? This counts, right? Like it's a snack, but it's vegetables. All right, wine me. Hmm. All right, now bring this to a boil while scraping. It's a nice, we have barefoot Sauvignon Blanc as our wine with the ratting to the, the sauce for today. That's a definite uh, different smell, that's for sure. Yeah, that, that'll smell better once the alcohol burns off, probably. Oh, yeah. Um, I only see the little strainer. Do we have the big strainer? I have to dig, maybe. Oh, I'm squatted down down here, and I don't have the mobility in these jeans. When I ripped my pants down. <laughs> Dang it. So this is the part where we were sort of deglazing. Yeah. I think you were really deglazing. I don't think there's any. Not even sort of. We actually are. There's no sort of about it. So the next one is we cook the scallops in this, right? Yes. Is there like a, there's like, do we, hold on. Do, while it's boiling? Yes. Gently place scallops into wine and poach in the mushroom mixture until barely firm, about two minutes to side. Okay. Transfer scallops to a bowl. So I'm going to get the bowls ready. Yeah, because we need scallops and the mushrooms to be separate. Correct. Yeah. So I'm going to use this one to strain the mushroom mixture into. So that's going to have more volume. So I'll get this set up with the strainer here. And then I will get this medium bowl for the scallops. All right, so we have our bowls ready to go. Now we just need a lighter. They're not flambe. How's that deglazing going? Pretty good, I think. I'm going back and forth on it, and it's looking like it's picking up all the excellent stuff off. So I, I feel like this surface is a little bit on the curved side, so I'm not going to go full. I understand. But I so would so a wooden spoon, to be fair. So I think the um. By the way, I think the uh, the stainless steel was was the right call. Yeah, I just figured because of the this part of it. The cast iron has many layers of seasoning on it exactly and i don't want to be doing that on the cast iron correct i agree with you i understand for like the uh like a roux or something you could probably do it and be fine but... mm -hmm. the daily driver has anybody had this dish before Anybody in chat? Oh yeah, this dish that's before? a good question. Has I... anybody eaten Coquille Saint-Jacques before? That's what we're making and we're gonna... All right, it's scallop time, everybody. Get it right in our bellies. All right, sounds good. You got it? I got it. All right. Sea scallops. Eat scallops. <laughs> as, seen, as seen in the ocean. Oh, are, are you uh? Can you, yeah. yeah can you are know. you a little slimy over there? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. There you go. All right, so pound of sea scallops, everybody. Here we go. Look at these beauties. Look at these beauties. All right, do we have a timer for this? There's two minutes per side. I know. I'm putting them in, though. Okay. Well, the timer's going on the on the stove. It's on so 10. You can, yeah. I was going to say you can just flip them at 8. Oh, man. Do you want me to get you a pair of tongs? Yes. Okay. They're in the dishwasher. Oh, I was thinking of, like, the normal, like, cooking size tongs, not the giant barbecue tongs. Whatever. Tongs are good. Okay. Tong, ta tong, tong, tong. Ski, sea scallops, whatever dimension dude just said. Sea scallops eat them? No, he's a, he's doing like a sea, sea dog run, run dog run. But I can't, I can't like <laughs> talk right now, so. Just gonna measure some more wine. You can measure as much wine as you want, baby. Now that we have it measured out for the, uh, the cooking process. Correct. Tongs? Oh, I don't want those. Why? I actually want the barbecue ones. Why do you want the barbecue ones? Because they have the ability to not have the thing slide through the middle of it. Okay, but I think these are overkill for stove top cooking. I agree, but I want to be able to have like the, the, the grip on it. All right, all right. And you have a bowl for... This is scallop bowl, this is strainer bowl. Perfect. But you want to take the, you want to take the scallops out and then strain. The ones that I've already done, I'm gonna start. So I've been pulling, it's like I'm trying to think. I pulled it out, then I turned. And I pulled it out, then I turned. I pulled it out, then I turned. I don't even know the, the correct cooking temperature for uh, for shallots. Do you know? Or scallops? scallops? I think they're 165. Are they 165? That's chicken. I think so. Well, this is seafood, so you wanna make sure they're done. Oh, absolutely. I think it's 165. I think that, well, the, I think the 165 was on the is on the package for the freezing one. Okay. Scallops are probably one of your favorite shellfish. They're delicious. They are absolutely delicious. I love them. One of my favorites as well. Unfortunately, they are I think many people's favorites. So because of that, they tend to be a little bit on the expensive side. Oh my God. Mecca, you just said pulled it out, then I'm dead. Okay, so we I took the kids to Trader Joe's today. We got behind a landscaping truck. On the back of the landscaping truck, it said we pull out. And me and Skinner Bees are like, uh. <laughs> like, is there a hidden word that we're not seeing? <laughs> that's That's inappropriate. Like we pull out trees or like we pull out plants. I'm Catholic, I don't have a lot of options. <laughs> you can use the poop hole loophole. All right. <laughs> cause FB in the ass cause I love Jesus. Exactly. All right, here's your scallop bowl if you want to put it in. I think we're good, yeah. Right. I think this is about right. Okay. Right, six minutes. Yep. They're going in. Go to the bowl. I'm gonna pull them out in like the order of which I put them in. Perfect. And a reminder guys, that these are slightly under, that's okay. This is gonna be broiled later. Yes. But I think they're just about right. And anyway. we don't wanna overcook scallops because, or undercook them because if anybody's watched Hell's, Hell's Kitchen, you know what happens to people who over or undercook scallops. It's raw! They get smashed and thrown. They do. This does smell amazing, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It has a really wonderful smell to it. We haven't even added all the layers of flavor yet. I know. Little bitty scallop. Beedy, beedy. I know I did arm day today, but come on. <laughs> it's getting heavy over here. All right, here's your... Uh, what am I doing next? 
straining. Am I trying to, what do I do for heat? Um, let me look at this thing in my hand. I'm thinking I'm going to turn it off. Turn right? it off. For, you, you'll be, you'll be boiling the, uh, boiling the liquid. Oh, oh, with the, with the, uh. With the cream. With the cream. Half okay. a cup. Let me get that ready to go. Okay, so now we strain this. This is our onion and um, mushroom and pan sauce. Yep. With a wine. Hey, coffee's here. What's up? What up, coffee? How are you? I think there's a lot of pieces to this puzzle. This is one of those ones that uh, they do say in the culinary biz that this is one that they do. Is this like one of the tests? Kind of, is that that sort of vibe? Yep. Like one that, it's like every chef needs to have this dish in their arsenal kind oh, of situation. Okay. I don't know if it's a test per se, but okay. it's just like this is one that needs to be in your arsenal. You need to know how to make this effing thing. Mm -hmm. Because we're going to be doing sauce later on this part, I think I'm going to try, to, I'm just going to wipe it off real quick with like a paper towel. I think the deglazing went fairly well there. Just so we don't have any big chunky bits here. Nope. So your next thing is return strain liquid to skillet, pour in any accumulated juices from scallops and stir in cream. Okay, so we're here. And uh, for those that are slightly off camera, there you go. There's the mushrooms and the, that what we're gonna be putting back in the dish there, but these are now separated. You gotta keep them separated. And then we're going to accumulated scallop juices as well. Yeah, come on now. Sing, sitting in an ARF truck, fire truck for nine hours for an air show. Yeah, I saw your video on uh, Discord. I actually opened my Discord today. I had to log back in, which is always a process with Discord. I was like, which? I was like, what? what's my password? Mm hmm. This is how we end up with two Hermes in Discord. And here's your cream. All right, so I'm bringing this to. This is, they say turn the heat up. Turn this, the heat this up. This freaks me out. This is like add cream and turn the heat up. And I'm like, oh my God. And what am I doing? Is it whisking um, now or no? Okay. This says bring to a boil and cook, stirring often until cream sauce is reduced by about half, about 10 minutes. Here we go. I am going to just start going. I am like reducing a cream sauce over high heat just kind of freaks me out, man. It freaks me out. Freaks me out so much. I think I'll measure a little bit more of this Sauvignon Blanc. Oh wait, wait. Is this uh, the cayenne bit? I think I feel like this is where this goes. Um, in the tarragon. Hold up, hold up, hold up. That is after you do the egg part. Okay. Then you do all that stuff. Oh, can you get me an egg yolk then? Yes, I will. I will. That's my next thing to do. All right, we got about I need ten to minutes on this, guys. Great, the Gruyere too. One and minute those, on the. I was gonna say those are gonna come out soon. Yep. All right, egg yolk first. Perfect. This was the last egg in the carton. Actually, City, this is a non-temper recipe, which is a little scary. We could temper it if we want to. You're whisking. You said you wanted to do the whisking. Do you want to? I think so, yep. Okay. You want to temper. Jesus Christ, this is this is fucking nuts. I know, that's why this this recipe, I was like, what is, what is this? Maybe this is the test. There is no time limit on reducing. Like, if you want to reduce over, like, a slightly less... It doesn't have to be on high. It just I'm might turning take it down a little right bit now. longer. It's, it's crazy to me. It, I'm turning it way down, to be honest. Yeah. The boiling cream is, like... Actually, two bowls. 
It's gonna be just a dishy day. Actually, that was the number one comment. They were like, worth it. A lot of dishes, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's cooking stream. That's what we do here. Yeah, cooking streams, we're used to it, though. But if, it, if it, you were just doing it for a single or a meal, though, there's a lot of, like, cook it in that thing and then take that out and separate that from the other thing. That was not the best separation I've ever done, but I started losing it, so. Should have used the garlic pinch. All right, there's our testers. Of the store bought. All right, Raj. First, I'm gonna wipe my hands on your towel. Okay. Second, I'm gonna grab a grab a mitt. So if, we're, if you're gonna temper, we're gonna need a bigger bowl. Well, these look horrible. They look terrible. To be quite honest with you, um, let me go get the thermometer. Actually, that doesn't look like they're done. No, they they look undercooked. Tempur-Pedic eggs. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to cross in front. Sorry, everybody, I'm blocking the camera for a sec. Oh good, we left the thermometer on top. And one more time, sorry. Okay. Shut this. Turn this on. I don't want to eat these. They don't look good. Put them back in. Give them five more minutes. Yeah, they're only at 130. Ew. Yeah, they don't look good. They're not done. seafood. <laughs> Gross. Disgusting. It's raw. <laughs> How's the reducing? Apart from the shell, I mean, it's doing okay. I'm trying to get it to the point where I like when I do one of these, you like half a second, you see it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I take it immediately off the heat, yes. let it sit for like a yes, minute. Yes, a minute. That's what it says right over here. Okay. Right. And this thing says, if you whisk quickly, you can just throw the yolk right in. I don't believe him. He did it. We saw him do it on the video. Yeah, I know. But that guy's like a chef. I know. <laughs> I I, know. I'm trying to learn this technique. I want to. I like, understand. So the tempering is like, I just, we, we take it off. We take heat. it off. We take it off the heat. Let it sit. I'm going to completely no, take it off we, the heat. Yeah, you take it off the heat. Exactly. Now what you're going to do is. Um, Spoon a little bit in there. Well, the thing is, I put it in that stupid little thing. So let me get you a bigger dish. Why? What in the, the for the egg yolk? Yeah. Yeah, because you want to be able to like whisk it together. You can't whisk it in this thing. Oh, it's whisking in it yeah. before you go. So like like yeah, partial whiskings and stuff. Yeah, you make everybody like each other on a small scale, and then and then they get together on a big scale, and they're much happier together. Okay. Get you guys over here. When we went to Aldi today, too, they had a dozen eggs for $1.19. Back to the egg discussion. That's pretty good. Yeah. It, it has gone... Uh... They've normalized a lot over here. Eggs, 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 boom, boom, eggs, eggs, eggs. Yeah, that sauce will turn into a cement. So one of the things, I was actually talking to Hermie about, with, about this earlier, was that when I notice what happens when you see these professional chefs, and I get it why we, won't, we don't do it as a home cook, but they are very much clean as your ghosts people. So, I think we do to a point and somewhat. I know. We're limited by space a lot of times. All right, this has definitely been sitting there for a minute. So what okay. am I doing now? You're pouring some of that into here with the egg yolk. Okay. Just like a little bit, and here's your whisk. Pour some of that in there. The well, egg I, yolk, and then whisk it together in that little bowl. That's not cold enough yet. That's gonna cook it. That's kind of this whole thing, isn't it? That's the point. Yeah, it's not gonna, the point is that you don't want it to be that cool. That's why you're doing this. 
Okay, so I pour a little bit in there and whisk it. Yes. Okay. Can we make that the closest thing? <laughs> sure. I'm going to give that a go. Uh, there's a big mess here now. There's a big mess here now. You're getting this one. Using this, I'll move this. All right, so I'm taking a little bit of this and putting it in there. A little bit of this and putting it in there, and then we're whisking. Yep. And then we do like a little bit more. You don't necessarily have to. You know what this reminds me of? Hmm. I know this is called tempering, but it reminds me of like when you would take it a new fish and you do a yeah. get it ready to for the aquarium. A very, very similar. That's right, a very then, similar thing, yeah. And then I go with that in here now. Yep. And then you whisk the whole thing together. Can you scrape me there? The spoon. Oh, it's making great noises, huh? We're doing awesome. <laughs> so what are we going for here? What is the what is the deal? What do you mean? Like what is the uh What's the end goal? The consistency, right? I think I think we've got it. It's whatever that is. Oh, didn't he didn't he have like a seasoning now, right? Yeah. Didn't he have like a thing where you like drag the not the wisp, but we good with that? <laughs> yeah, that's not a great sound. <laughs> Agreed. Well, what are you gonna do? Yeah, it's awful. It'll be over soon, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't make it take longer. All right, we good? I don't know. It looks very runny. Well, like, no, no, I need seasoning, seasoning, season, seasons. <laughs> Cayenne pepper. The. Did you say that? That's when this goes. Yes. I thought you said it looked runny. It does look runny. Does it? It, it does. Yes. Yes. It does. It looks runny. But I don't know if we can turn it back on now that we added the egg yolk. Like that was from before. I would not use that anymore. I don't know. I don't know if we can. I, I think it needed to thicken before. It did thicken, and I was to be able to do this and scrape it, but then I had the egg yolk, and it did. Okay. Well, let's let's stop whisking. I think we're good with that. This is where we add the stuff. This is what I keep asking. Yes. What, what are you asking? Cayenne and paprika and yes. 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 Cayenne pepper. Where's your Where's your chopped up tarragon? Oh, there it is. Okay. Tarragon. And lemon zest. Smoked paprika. And the zest of a lemon. There we go. Okay. Let me, and then we start to uh, assemble. I guess it makes a little bit of sense that it would be, that adding an egg yolk would make it runny again, I guess. This does not say to put it back on the heat though. This this recipe does not say to put it back on the heat. So for our first time making it, we're going to follow the recipe. I think it has the potential to break. But I also think that once we start getting the assembly for this stuff happening, guys, this is going to um, have a little bit of a chance to thicken up. We also still have to broil it, so. Where would that spoon go? Grab one. Probably threw it in the sink. For yeah. the In the interest of space. I gotcha. I'm gonna go ahead and taste this, guys. How's it taste? What do we think? I think it needs more of everything. I think it's bland as shit. It needs more salt. The biggest flavor I'm getting in there is like tarragon. It has a strong flavor. And then we need more. I don't know if we need more spice, that's probably fine, but we definitely need some more paprika. 100%. 
I'm going to use the little tarragon ramekin to grate the gruyere. Okay. It's bland as shit, no! Better, a little pepper. I thought that was a lot of pepper, to be honest. But I, I thought know. it was too. Maybe not. We will not be doing bland sauces here. This is a thing of a no in our house. We've only this hit. This is it. the no blend sauce zone. This is the second time that we followed the like. Well, not necessarily. It didn't say how much to put. It in. said That's to like, taste. To so taste. Yeah. Since you tasted, we're. We're, we're, we are following the recipe. The other one that we did, I can't remember which one was it. It was the... Um, that teriyaki one. Teriyaki it was one. Ho it was horribly bland. Really, really like bland. Like it smelled good, but it was not great to eat. You love paprika? Oh, paprika is amazing. And that's... I, I smoked this paprika myself. And that smoked paprika really, really packs a punch. I enjoy some smoked paprika myself. Especially Raj's home smoked paprika. All right. You wanna you wanna go? Huh? What? We don't want too much of that. I know. I just go overboard with the grating sometimes. We want here. It's fun. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty tarragony, but I think maybe with everything else. All right. That's a little kick on the back end there. Mm -hmm. Definitely has a little kick in the back end. All right. I'm going to add some more are lem those done? lemon zest in as well. Are, those, are the oven scallops done? Because we need the broiler. I know we need the broiler. Although, this is one that every person that made the recipe did say this. This is the prep that you could do hours ahead of your dish time. And at this point, when you assemble, you can wait. So if we have to wait for a minute or two for those to be done... I just want to use the pan and the foil that are that they're on. I mean, true. Oh, uh, QB wants to make the upper crust chicken with proper seasoning. I, uh, I don't think it's salvageable, dude. Like, more power to you if you can. But that that mayonnaise mixture with that stuff just. I can't. Maybe you can. I cannot with it. I'm just going to probe these for temp. We're looking at 165, yeah? Yeah. That's what the package says. They look gross. They look really disgusting. I think like we're going to win on this, by the way, guys. Oh, uh, we're going to win at least on presentation alone. Are they good? I want to eat ours first. <laughs> I agree. I guess we can, I mean, we, we, we have other pans. We can use other pans. Ours are getting broiled, though. Those aren't broiled. They, they just said stick them in the oven. Fuck it. Let's broil them. Well, turn the broiler on. Broil? What do we turn it on to? Broil high? high, yep. We're going broil high, everybody. I'm gonna I'm gonna let him broil, so I'm just gonna keep an eye on him here. Yeah, they'll 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 change quickly. Oh, hey, Clownser! Clownser's back. Oh, Clownser, how you doing, man? Because I think they're like done cooking. But they, they, they just—they just look—they just look raw and bland and disgusting. They look really, really plain Jane, like very, very much so. They actually, don't smell too bad though. That's good. That's a plus. On your phone, working. On your phone, working. Thank you. Should I put this in a safe place so we know where it is? <laughs> Some place that you'll remember where it is, Hermie. I'll find it if I decide. But separate it from all the rest of the stuff we if normally I, use. <laughs> if I decide to clean out the the fridge this weekend, I might find it. I'm gonna not garnish with tarragon. 
Yes. No, I we don't need any more tarragon in no, this. No, we have plenty of tarragon. Plenty of tarragon is the dominant flavor in the sauce right now. I would agree with that completely. That's why I'm. That's honestly why I made a little more cheese. I think that'll help mediate that a little bit. Yeah, let's not forget about our fresh oregano in here. I know. I forgot about it. I haven't had an oregano dish. You actually have way more spaghetti and stuff like that than I, I do. I know, but that already. But I use sauce that already oh, has good. oregano in it. It's a decent white wine. It's not too sweet. That's why I picked it. Yeah, not too bad. I think it's a good wine to use when cooking seafood. That's why you don't like tarragon. So uh, it takes over too much. I can see it. Yeah, I mean you just have to use it judiciously, right? I use the amount that they said to use. It was like three leaves, Raj, four leaves. Raj, you're not watching the broiler. Oh yeah, those are done. Yeah. Right, what am I doing over here? I gotta remember. All right, guys, this is the store-bought one. Not ours. That's nope. the store-bought one. That's the store-bought comparison tester. This is the comparison tester. This is the one that came pre-frozen. I won't be uh, giving that the old... Oh, those don't smell too bad. No, they are now that they're like good to go. Now that they're, I think, I think they really need that broil. All right, Hermie, I have definitely been doing a lot of the go-to. Oh yeah, no, I'm. You're on assembly. I can do assembly. I would like to use this. <laughs> I would really like to use this, but. It's gonna be super fucking hot right oh, now. I know, I realize that too. All right, can you, uh, can you give me a little foil? Yes, where would you like to do this though? So I'm just trying to get um, to. Well, can we. I can move those out. Yeah, if we can move those out, I'll just do it over here. Since okay. so the camera's already here. I need the things that are behind you. You need the things that are behind me, which is these. And then I have something to put it on. This. There's one on the table, if you want to put them over there. Yes, I'll do it. Give me. There's, there's already one on the table, is what oh. I'm telling you. Oh. Got to measure a little more wine, you know. All right, pardon me. Show. Sure. All right. All right. Those are our testers. Cool enough. Yeah, if you can just grab me a thing of foil to hold them, hold them steady, and then we'll we'll go. Hear me on it's, assembly. Uh, mushrooms, scallops, sauce, cheese. And that's there just to give it a bit of. Traction. Traction so it doesn't have any issues. Well, these so. were thoroughly cleaned clamshells. They are very thoroughly clean. Very thoroughly clean. They went through the dishwasher multiple times, I believe. Okay. There we go. And they're all got their little nesties. So I'm going to bring the uh, mushrooms over here. Mushrooms go down first. So I'm going to try to evenly spread these guys out. You do have some wonderful... So we're going to get these, uh, mushroom, it's going to be uh, mobile prices. Mushroom shallot. We're going to get these subs. Huh? Oh, don't, yeah, don't sub on your phone. <laughs> don't do any subs on your don't phone. Don't do it. If you can go through a browser, that's the best way to go, because Apple and Google take their cut. Yes, they do. Hey, what's up, TikTok peoples? Good to see you as well. Hi. It actually looks really good on the TikTok it stream, It looks too. really good on the TikTok. People haven't been chatting over there, but that's fine. I mean, lurk away. Oh, it's fine. Lurk away. Sometimes it's fun to just put something on in the background and vibe, you know? Maybe have some snacks while you're waiting for the scallops to be done. Mm-hmm. Which we are looking forward to. All right. Well, I have to say, I think that scallop shells are a little bit bigger than the clam shells. We are about stuffed with mushrooms here. I think a little bit, not much. We have more mushrooms. It must be these big Pennsylvania mushrooms then, Raj. I tell you what. I told you about the big Pennsylvania mushrooms. Well, I don't mind a little bit of like a an overflowing shell of good goodness. Goodness, Did deliciousness. Did you want to say the white here? The white egg part? Oh, you know, you can toss it. Just one is... No. I was like, yeah, I was going to say it. It's not going to be like... I might save the spoon. All right. Oh, I see. Oh, 
just go you know, and make it into the dish. Are they so. good? Are they good? They working out over there? I'll be honest. I. Hmm. What's up? It tastes like a very standard thing. I guess it kind of is, right? Well, I guess it's, it's sort a... of the point. Mushrooms, shallots, butter, wine. That mm. is like a... That's a basis for a lot of French cooking. Exactly. Not hating on it at all. Look at those scallops coming out there nice. Woo, they baby. look great. I really think we have more seafood than we do room in shells. <laughs> like I know, I watched the same video you did and the guy's like, well, you just pay, you just break up the extras. Like we have a lot of extras. There's a lot of extras. Yeah. Do the big ones in there. Make sure the yeah, big that's, ones are in. Yeah, I'm trying to do Because the they're the ones that might be just slightly underdone. So sure, sure, yeah. Well, I would think that we would need to, any of these, cook them a little bit longer. Yeah. I can see that too, yeah. And here's a little one that I might be able to tuck over here. I'll try to find some little guys to... Is there more room in that top left one? Kind of. Yeah, I'm I guess the, to... the shells are a little... Shells are a little smaller than the other ones, but... Um, what if we, do we have any more shells? No. Okay. That's fine. That's definitely it. That's fine because we're out of mushrooms anyway. Um, I don't know what to, what, what do we do with, what do we do with the rest of these? I have an idea. Just put them on the foil? I have an idea. Rosh has an idea. Hear me out. That's the store-bought one. It's cool enough. Let's scrape it out and then put the rest of the scallops in this one. Just well, do it. want to try it now? Or do yeah, we've got to try it now. Okay. Let's scrape all the fillings out into a bowl and then use the, use the other shells. Basically. Aha. Uh -huh. We're out of mushroom. Well, I can, I can unassemble. Store-bought. Store-bought. Oh, that's hot in the middle. Oh, yes, it is. It's steaming. Ooh. I see cheese. I see cheese <laughs> with greens. Okay, yep. a hot. It's bland. Honestly, not bad. It's all right. It's bland. I basically taste scallop and that's it. I spelled scallop and cheese in this. Little cheese. Yeah. It's very bland. Not bad. I can taste a little bit of the onion or shallot flavor. Very little. Very little. No mushrooms in this one either. Uh -uh. No, it's not mushroomy. That's sad. Obviously, they weren't made in Pennsylvania. So ironically, the one that we're going to have like the proper shell for is going to be the one that doesn't have all the stuff in it. Well, we can we can re we can we can re uh, there we go. We can change it around a little. We can unassemble reassemble. There we go. It'll be fun. Well, what's up? Have any Old Bay? Hermy hates Old Bay. God damn it! Why would you ruin this with Old Bay? Um, this Get is out of here. Not the thing for it, yeah. What's up, Quap? Get out of here. Who said that? What are you trying to get Shannon to do? The toy to cook the, oh, the geo duck. Oh my gooey God. Gooey duck. The gooey duck. The penis, the penis freaking stuff. Penis clam. The penis clam. If it's bland. Oh, that, the one that we just ate was the, our comparison one. Yeah. The one that was that frozen. That we have pre-frozen ordered so we can compare the store-bought ones. All right. To... Reassemble the uh, to the dish that we're going to be doing. So we're not we're not going to um, yeah yeah. Well, I don't want to I want to extra season it up just to make it better. <laughs> we're no, gonna... the comparison like it is what it is. Yeah, it is it is what it you is. You made your stand, and we're going to judge it appropriately. All right, Raj. I think we've got these are still going to be pretty full shells, but I think we can make these work. All right, that's uh, so we're, so we get we get five out of that basically. We get five out of that. We could get six. Yeah, I see that. For a future, future reference next time we make, you know, Coquille Saint Jacques. It might be. Well, it's an expensive one. It is an expensive is one. Is this one? If we have if we have like a fancy dinner party because we have those often. Yeah, that's true. You know, 
Raj and Hermes fancy dinner parties. You're looking at it right now. It's cooking stream. Real stuff don't tamper with that genius. Um, no, it's more like this. Here, here's the deal. Whoever's doing that, we're comparing it to this, right? Literally, somebody. It's the purchased version of it. And that's it. We're just gonna go. Hey, real talk though. I kind of bought these just for the shells themselves, yeah. but I figured out another method to do it. So. I say, what do you say while well, while these are broiling? Well, these it's not gonna take very long. No, they're not. We're gonna we're gonna. I wanna watch them. Like maybe a maybe while they um maybe while they cool down, we can do the chips. I kind of want to get the chips done before we taste these. Okay. Does that sound all right to you? That does sound all right to me. How's the sauce look to you? I think that I think it looks fine. I don't know what texture it's supposed to be. It looks a little thin, but you said it was the right consistency before we added the egg yolk. Yeah, but you know, that's, that's. We pourin'. Yeah, I think I would say it looks a little thin, but yeah. But yeah, that guy, the guy that we watched is a chef and he uh, does chefy things like reduce a cream sauce on high. All right. A little bit of Gruyere cheese, everybody's favorite ingredient. That's $15 a pound. But it's delicious. It is $15 a pound. We went through the uh, add-on budgets with zero add-ons by, <laughs> well, one add-on, which was the, the One add-on. Yeah. But it definitely helped to mitigate the cost of the dish. So for that, we are very grateful. Mm-hmm. All right. We're ready to broil, my friend. Let me double All check right. the... That's the last bit. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. We're ready to broil, they're going in. Ready to broil, they're going in. Can you grab the oven? Wait, the door? Yeah. Okay. We're watching these like a hawk. We gotta cook the scallops through and make sure they're like, get a little brown crust on the top. Koski St. Jacques. Out here they get the good scallops off the oil platforms. Oh, really? We have, Is um, that a joke? Because that's funny. Hi, Barbarian. What's up, Barbarian? Hope you're having a wonderful one, too, man. Thank you guys all for being here. I do appreciate you all being Absolutely. on the cooking stream. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Cheese and shellfish is like a classic French no-no. I don't think it's... This is a this is a classic French dish. I know. That's why this is that's why it's weird. It's weird to have cheese and shellfish together because normally like with classic French cooking it's not. Is there gonna be any of that wine left, baby? Yes! <laughs> we used a whole I gotta stop. I'm gonna feel like crap tomorrow. I gotta stop, gotta stop, gotta stop. Hey King! It's like, these are delicious. We used every dish in the house, but they're delicious. Uh, I feel like I washed more dishes today than we used, so. That was at least a couple of days of like. <laughs> I know, I know. You know, making food for the kids. Don't worry, I'm planning on doing Thai, so it's gonna even get even messier around in this joint. Uh, I'll do the post stream cleanup. We'll be good. We'll, yeah, be, we'll good. be good. No, we divide and conquer pretty well. We do, we, we definitely are great splitting of household duties. Not a joke, the sea likes to grow on a... Oh, cool. Interesting. Oh, Barbarian, I liked your video I watched earlier. Very nice. I'm actually nice. going to turn these one time. I feel like the broiler isn't even. Probably isn't. I also feel like we're bending the shit out of this pan. That happens every time you put it in the broil... Any, anything hotter than like 350, the pan goes fling once when it deforms. It's a high quality pan. Holy shit, it is actually really bending. Uh-huh, it does. It's really hot in there, like we really preheated the shit out of that thing. Like the one side is like, <laughs> like all the way up like this. Like the shield panels in sunshine.
It looks bubbly. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Things are bubbling. I'm looking for just a little bit of brown texture on the side, and then I'm going to pull it. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure those scallops are done. We do have some pretty big ones. That's true. I don't know what we're going to do if we either not. They were pretty, like you saw the ones I cut in half. You cut ones in half? I had to cut some to fit them around, you know. Were they raw? No. I mean, they were a little underdone in the middle. So I, I'm saying, I think at least the smaller ones. Oh, look out. We're being what? bombed by subs. What is that? Clownser. Clownser. You ball are you. Clownser with 10. He's going after his high score. He wants that. He wants that VIP this week. All right, coming out, coming out, coming out. Look at yeah. that pan. It's fucking like warped. Oh, yeah, it's warped. That pan was flat, by the way, guys. There it is. It'll be flat again. Our con uh, coquille Saint-Jacques, I present to you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but bon, as we let this cool down. Bon appétit. Bon appétit, as they say. I would say right off the bat, ours look a whole hot better. Clownser, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Really appreciate that. And, 10 uh, gifted subs, Clownser. You're a baller. Just for that. Clownser and El Brandino, you guys are welcome to one of these five. Which one do you want, everybody? Mm. Oh, yeah, those look great. Mm-hmm. They look good. Oh, One-Eyed Willie's going after the, the rest of the food. <laughs> Time to grab the ramen, that's right. I'm worried that one's going to fling off when that thing <laughs> goes back to its old We have to. Uh, shape. We have to. We have our own yeeter. <laughs> we, have our, we made a yeeter. A yeeter. A yeeter. My pan jumps after five minutes in the oven. Yeah. I've never seen this one bend that much before. <laughs> it, it is it's slowly going back down, but. Little did you know, it's actually a weighted ejector. Whoa. Whoa. So. Gifted a sub to One-Eyed Willie to Clowns. Are you are a Thank baller. You. Thank you so clowns much, man. Clowns are really appreciate that, man. Can we get some uh, hearts in the chat for, for, for Clowns sure. and for El Brandino as well tonight, guys? Support has been huge. We and appreciate really, the hell out of you guys. Really do appreciate that. All right, you want to try these chips? Is anybody on TikTok? Hit hit us with the likes on the TikToks. I have no, I have no idea. I have a feeling. I have a feeling that because we're not in the gaming category, TikTok is like, full on depression! <laughs> I don't know. I've seen I've seen like names pop in like this person joined this person joined a lot during the the thing, but during this stream? Yeah. Okay. Never mind then. I could be wrong. Just because, you know, we have it up. All right. So, as one of the goals or the uh, rewards, I should say, for our sub is that we are going to do Here, I'll hold these. I'll okay. be the Vanna White. ghost pepper potato chips and I have put the offer on the table that I will move to you just, can I have just you a little get, bit yep, okay yep, get you on the center there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then we'll make sure that we can kind of both show up on the vertical TikTok. oh perfect all right so here's what I'm going to do what I have offered I know this is a generous offer because <laughs> you guys have been very generous exactly with our TikTok, or not TikTok, are uh, on the sub gifts, so we appreciate you very much. There's a little poem on the back of these. Let me read it. Okay. If spicy flavors bring you joy more than any game or toy, then try these chips with loads of heat and crunch that simply can't be beat. We use the chili called the ghost, providing heat which we can boast is hotter than jalapeno or habanero, and so we issue you a darrow to grab a bag and take a bite of chips packed full of ghostly fright. I'm ready. Trader Joe's. Hermes said she'll do one. I will eat a chippo. I'm gonna do five in five minutes. They smell, they smell like regular chips, you know, the, the fart whiff when you open the bag. One, two, three. They're like. Four, five. They're like waffles. Yeah, they're waffle chips. I didn't know they were waffles. These are fun. One, two, three. Careful, they're ruffled. Four. <laughs> you guys are getting a bonus chip here. Because, oh, bonus chip! Because there's one that's obviously two stuck together. One, two, three, oh, four, five. Oh, bonus chip. All right, guys, ready? Cheers. Cheers. Three, two, one, go. Mm -hmm. 
They're very crunchy. I'm sorry. They're very crunchy. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know ghost sometimes takes a little bit. They're tasty. I'm sorry for this chap. Ziggy, set timer for five minutes. No, five Rush minutes, after broom. starting now. I promise no such thing. Okay, let's get a little hotter. Sorry about both sounds. <coughs> so. I mean, I'm breathing it in, but. They're spicier than your average chip. I think it'll be okay. They're not that spicy. They're. That spicy. I think I've had hotter Takis. I would say for a chip, they're spicy. But for... Mm, it's, it is, it's still going up, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's like... Hmm. It's no, like, death nut challenge. No. Still talking. <laughs> I'm not freaking out, and chat's like, hurry, stop! Hermie, you do not look well. <laughs> Seriously, knock it off. I mean, a whole one of those, by the way. Me too. At least one. Eyeing up the scallops already. Like, those look good. Little sea scallops, man, you know? I know. Thanks I, to chat, we leveled up the scallops. I will say this, though. I do want to drink. And the, the, the lack of liquid dove definitely has a, an impact on it, for sure. Mmm. Been hotter Pringles? Uh, I don't know if I had hotter Pringles before. You got gin at Trader Joe's? Yeah, well, some of us don't have liquor in the grocery store. Barbarian cries in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Like, we have to have, like, a special... Our grocery stores have to have a special little, like, cafeteria. Or at least that was off camera. That was me washing hands, not... I was picking up a mushroom off the floor. Oh, not yeah, taking a drink. The escapee from earlier. Mm -hmm. Can confirm he did not take a drink. I will go the full five minutes, my friend. I said no such thing. I, you didn't say. I'm drinking my wine. I didn't. I didn't offer. It. You didn't. I offered. I said I'll eat a chip. And we ate a chip. And you had five chips. I ate five chips. You had five. They chips. were very crunchy. I'm sorry about the sound. They were very crunchy. My apologies. My apologies. It would bother me. So. If you eat half the bag, it'll be super hot. <laughs> Get your damn like. Thank you, shy guy. Joined. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Love you guys on the TikToks. Every store you go in has liquor? Well, we live in a state of Pennsylvania where they don't have that. The only thing we got is the grocery store now, and this is very recent, beer and wine. Yeah, but that has to be in like the special, like they have to have like an eat-in area, which nobody ever eats in, at least in mm -hmm. our local grocery store. And, and they have to buy it separately. Tw only 12 packs, you can't buy cases there. Yep, only 12 packs. And no liquor, liquor is at the state store. We're making small, tiny progress steps here in Pennsylvania. It's true. I mean, every state has their thing, though. Remember, at, like, Texas, you could buy beer and liquor at the gas station, but not on Sunday with the right. liquor. Not on Sunday, right. You can do, uh, you can buy the beer. It sucks at a convention in Texas because you're ready to party on, like, a Sunday, the last day of the convention, and you're like, oh, got to plan ahead or something. They're like, no booze. No, no booze. booze. All right. Am I, it should be about almost ready, right? I'm honestly not, I'm not like, you know how you have the challenges and you're like, <laughs> yeah, this one's I'm not, I'm just thirsty at this point. No, <laughs> you just want to drink because you had some chips. Yeah. Not, not because of spiciness. Um, Mrs. Biffle chips are, we have some flour sack towels. I think I got them at Aldi and like some cotton ones from Ikea. I need to soak them like overnight so they get white again, but I just don't feel like it. <laughs> yeah. No liquor without a free gun. <laughs> well, there are some strange laws out there. I know. <laughs> so after you have your drink, you think we should try some scallops? I'm ready. I'm ready too. I want to dig in. I am too. They look awesome. Perfect timing as always. 
Our timing, our timing for the cooking streams is getting like right impeccable. On. Impeccable. I have an idea for next week's. Mm. If the some of the things that I purchased remain. Ooh. I'm thinking about what you purchased. Mm -hmm. I put in a meat order just for this. So we got like um, full disclosure. I covered all the bases. So let's just talk real quick while I'm waiting for that timer. There it is. <gasps> Ziggy, stop. I got little scallops too. So we wanted to make sure we had like all the things covered. So just in case. But I also got like baby back ribs and I got some other things. Mussels is one of them. Did get some mussels. Got the mussels. Did get the mussel shirt. Mussels still loading. Mussels coming later. Ooh, special episode of Letter Kenny. I gotta remember. Maybe I'll watch that while I'm cleaning up. I'll be very happy. But I wanna give my full attention. Maybe I'll wait. <laughs> Full smiles. All right, should we get like should we get some paper plates to put these guys on? Yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm dude. Ready. All right, I think this is my fork from earlier. Do you have your fork still? Bing. Bing. Got it. All right, you want to choose first? Hmm. I'm kind of surprised you still have any sort of breadcrumbs on top, honestly, because usually like I feel like stuffed things in a shell I generally have breadcrumbs on top but how do you feel about that i feel like yes do you feel like they you think they should have breadcrumbs or do you think you think it's weird that they don't i don't think i would hate it if it did yeah i mean i like the mushroom part of it oh well, here we go our homemade coquille saint jacques okay so on tiktok i am on screen and you are not okay but, so, so we're, um we're just gonna do it like this we're gonna split it all right, so I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit up a little bit of mushrooms, a little yeah. bit of scallop. I wanna I wanna get like a whole bite of everything. Mm -hmm, Hold up, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm dipping it in the sauce. It's hard to like, it's hard to like, get all this going at once. I'm struggling. All right, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Raj is gonna go. Okay, you go. Okay, now I have one with, with everything. It's like the Buddhist. Make mm. me one with everything. Ordering a hot dog, right? Here we go. Cheers. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. I feel like I'm missing something. Salt. I put a shit ton more salt in there. I know. I'm saying I think I need more. All right. I just got the... <coughs> How much cayenne did you put in? Teaspoon. Really? Mm-hmm. All right. So the tarragon is good, and it definitely, like complements the sweetness of the scallop, mm -hmm. which I really like. But why do they call for unsalted butter? I know every recipe does it, but then you just have to add extra salt <coughs> at the end. Mm. I think the scallops are done perfectly. Yeah, the scallops are good. Everything is good. I'm salting the rest of mine. Would you like some? I'm gonna dust some over the rest of these two. This is why I never, I never use unsalted butter for anything. And I get, we followed a recipe and we try to do it the, the right way the first time. But you just end up salting it more later. Gotta have the salt. It might've needed it. It needed it. Okay, chat. Chat yeah, spite. That was it. Yeah, that was it. Little thing. Chat spite. Come on, chat. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Hide everybody's faces. This is delicious. Mmm. Focus. Mm -hmm. There you yeah, go, dude. chat. Mmm. Eat. Focus. Camera, come on. Sorry, I ate your bite, chat. Mm. It happens every week. You always do. I always do. Yeah, it just needs a touch extra salt. It's delicious, though. 
Mm -hmm. I, um, I don't know. Sauce probably could have been thicker. It's good. I like it. The ingredients you can't go wrong with. Shallots, mushrooms, scallops. Mm -hmm. The fresh tarragon is really nice. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I'll eat another after stream. I've already did this again. If you did this again, what would you change? I want to cook this. I want to fry the scallops. I would rather have fried scallops in this in this flavor profile than than um, with poached. Okay. Um, I, I I get you get the good scallop flavor, but you don't get a good like texture, crisp bite mm -hmm. to it. Like it's done. It's well. It's all the way through and through. Mm. I understand. I understand. You don't get that texture contrast. Yeah. Good though, good flavors. Maybe it's like maybe that's what the, the the broiler is for, right? To like give it the crispness, I guess, at the end. But I'm not really getting that too much. No, I'm not getting a lot of that either. No, but we were smoking, so I wanted to pull it out. So. Yeah, no, totally, totally understand that. Mm -hmm. One more time on the comparison, though, because well, these are cooked. They're cooked. <laughs> we might as well eat them. This is the uh, store, frozen. These were a little more cohesive. They're fishier. I put broccoli in there. That's broccoli. Oh, that's what that is. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what that is. Mm -mm. It's broccoli. Oh. It's, you know what? This is one of the add-ons that didn't make it this week. One of the things that could have been on here was mashed potatoes. Like in the shell? No, 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 no. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. Around the outside, though. Like, a, like, like almost a... You do it like we a bacon. We wouldn't have had freaking room for that. I know. We would have to figure out something. But that was one of the add-ons. This has potatoes in it, though. But no mushrooms. I, you know what? That that either reminds me of if you would get these at like a banquet mm -hmm. type setting. Or this it's almost like broccoli soup flavor. Like a broccoli potato soup. That's what this that reminds me of. This is a broccoli of. scallop potato soup. Yep. That's what this is. That's what that flavor is. That, yep. 100%. That's a nailed it. That's, that's exactly what that is. And ours is scallops and mushrooms. And the, it is far and the superior. Oh yeah. But I will. I will say that. Um, that tastes like that's like tastes like a broccoli potato soup with some scallop bits in it. Yes. Like a mock chowder almost. Um, ours is. I think it needs adjustment. I'll I be honest too. with you. I think there's just these like. I we, think I think we need a lot of sauce refinement. Mm-hmm. That's my first time trying to do that. No, no, no. I know. Me too. I don't boil a. I don't boil a cream sauce at high. Like that freaks me out. I have no idea how it works. There's your bite shot. There Did you go. Did you just spear another scallop off of there? I had to get I had to get a good focus oh hero shot. Oh my god, babe. Well, that's yours then. I'm taking another full one. Mm, go ahead, chat. Go ahead. Scallop, eat it. Mm. Makes me wonder how much this salt is in salted butter. I know, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. No, I want mashed potatoes and fried potato skins. We're glad we can make you crave weird shit. <laughs> That's all we can do for you, you know? That's all we can do is cooking streamers on Friday nights is make you guys crave weird shit. So the other day I was picking out French fries because Raj made us homemade chicken nuggets, which were fabulous and everybody loved them. Mm -hmm. They were so good. Um, but Skinner Bees and I were picking out French fries and I saw the smiley fries. Do you guys remember smiley fries from like lunchtime in school? <laughs> do you remember them, Raj? Yeah, I do. You, but the thing they is taste about like ass, though. no, the thing is about about them, and I'm I'm just I was just gonna say that is that like the texture is like fried on the outside, but like mush in the middle, and I always <laughs> yes. hated that because I hate I've gone into this before on the street. I hate croquettes, like I've never had a croquette that I like. You bite through that like nice crispy outside, and you get like mush. Like there's something about that is so disgusting to me. Not no smiley either. fries in our fucking house. For the end of the week, everybody. I'm going to set a wine since you're by the fridge. <laughs> sure thing, baby. 
You are almost out of wine. Hey, hey, <laughs> we used a whole cup of this for the sauce. This was not all me. Cheers, everybody. Happy it was, Friday. It was some for the sauce. I'll wait until you're ready for a cheers. You're gonna bottle cheers me? I'm gonna bottle cheers you. Cheers. <laughs> I'll pour it, I'm not an animal. Am I? To a great week, to a, a, a dice dish. Cheers. To a... To a wonderful audience. Mm -hmm. Just you guys. Cheers, everybody. This one, the California State Fair Wine Competition. Actually, California is probably like pretty competitive with the wine competitions. Not a big fan of potatoes. Um, I feel like there's a realm of which a potato can be good for you. There's a lot of different ways to potato. Potatoes. Very large. Several potatoes. Many different ways. All right, listen. Matt live right now. Matt, my gang. Matt? Yeah. Why? Because he oh. did the statistics. <laughs> and he said something like Canada produces like 84 billion potatoes a year. And I was like, and he said, that's not enough potatoes. I'm like, I think that's enough potatoes. That's a For bean. Canada? Yeah, it's, if they were the only potato producing country in the world, you know, we might be able to have a look at those statistics. But for Canada, like, that's fine. That's a lot of potatoes. It's a lot of potatoes. <laughs> it's a lot of potatoes, and they're all russets, which are fine for some things, I guess. Oh, uh, evening, Malkith. How are you? Malkith is back. Cheers. We had to, your uh, gold train might be a killer. Mm. It's like half a house driving around the uh, driving around the world, killing people. It's a little wider than our other train, so when we stand in the thing, we get hit by it. We're not used to its girth. <laughs> <laughs> our tr our tracks aren't that wide yet. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Alley Cat and TikTok as well. Hi, Hello, hi, Alley Cat. Guys. Thanks for watching on TikTok this week. Do appreciate y'all being here, guys. I I'd, think this might be a, a a really wonderful uh, cooking stream. I think we're like a, a high, a high record. Awesome, also Malkith. We think that the gold train should have a stripper pole or two inside because it is totally a party bus. We're doing everything to be five wide. The tunnel, but if you stand in the tunnel, there's no room for a person. There's no room next to it, bro. The train fits. I mean, the train fits, but we just weren't expecting it. Train fits pff, barely. <clears throat> Bring your lube. How'd the cooking go? Well, I will. Uh, awesome and delicious. Have you maybe take a gander at this? <gasps> Ow. Yeah, that's really full. There's a VOD, too. There's a VOD. There's a VOD. We made. Uh, very good, uh, good scallops. I had to turn around so it would focus. They're very good. I don't know if that was going to be the focus. You missed the chat bite. Chat bite is already come and gone. You did, but there's, but there's a vod if you if you're interested in. <coughs> there is a chat bite. Seeing what the end. And we have a comparison, and we did the spicy ghost pepper chips. We did all the things. So I would say successful cooking. They're stream. not the most spicy chips we've ever had. They're pretty good though. Mm -mm. I like the I like the, um, the waffleness of them actually. That's pretty good. Yeah. But uh, I will say that uh, now we're just drinking. Yeah, <laughs> we did. The, see, we I I haven't been drinking in a long time, but we had a little bit of wine for the sauce, and now I'm having a little bit of wine for me. <laughs> got to measure out some wine, do you? Got to measure out some wine. I learned about watching you. Mm -hmm. Raj taught me how to measure. Yeah, that's twelve inches. <laughs> Are we fishing again? <laughs> Wait, those were close to 12 inches. That's not what my boyfriend says. <laughs> That's why you need Adam Savage's arm roller. No, that brings a whole different weirdness to that fact. It'd be like, really hey, Adam, does. let me see your, let me see your arm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, dude, stop that. You guys got to <laughs> knock this shit off. Hey, come here, man. See how you measured up on Adam's arm. No wonder him and Jamie don't get along. That was, that was the breaking point. 
<laughs> this is how far he moved. <laughs> Where's the base? <laughs> Alright, that's probably good. <laughs> we should probably end this now. <laughs> no, on that bombshell. On that bombshell. That's what we're going to call it in a week of streaming. A week uh, I hope of you streaming. guys had fun this week. We'll be back next Monday. It's hot in here. I hope, uh, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Do something fun this weekend. Go touch grass. Go do some shit. It's nice out some places. Go get some uh, white wine if you want. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I need more white wine. <laughs> and at the same time, I'm like, probably shouldn't have more white wine. <laughs> Just measure out a little bit of wine. This week. This, keep, your, keep your hot dogs swinging. But that'll be it for I'm us. I'm Raj, and this is cute. I'm telling you to keep your hot dogs swinging. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Have a fabulous weekend, everybody. We will see you on the Monday. That's right. Good night, everybody. Have a great weekend. I have to do my awkward.